No, no, no. It's, let me see something. We could take that extra chair away, that little one, because it's only going to be Willie D. Stevie, Stevie J ain't coming on this week. He just wanted to come up here, get out the streets. <laughs> yeah, no, that little nigga, I'm going to try to get that little nigga right. Fuck you, Niche. <laughs> Let me know when we ready. ready. Hey, check it out. 5150 fans, how y'all doing? We getting ready to start the show. And before we start the show, we got uh, some little music we put together. This ain't the new intro. This is just a little song we put together that we want y'all to watch and, and, and judge. All y'all judge, the, the people who like it and the people who don't hate it. Even the people who not liking me right now. Just watch the video. 5150, here we go. All right, I'm off the camera. This world has an abundance of resources. If you have faith, you can go anywhere and find your way. Ain't no doubt. Everybody out there who believes in the true God understands what I'm saying. I ain't scared of nothing because... God has put people out here to save me from all situations. The obese, the obese single mom will always provide shelter for me. The obese single mom will always provide shelter for me.
Let y'all know this fat bitch ain't got none of y'all back. So. Yes, she do, bitch. If I come Don't to Chicago, if I come to Chicago, I'm moving in with your ass, motherfucker. Nah, I ain't got none of y'all back. My fat ass ain't on it. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the 51 motherfucking 50 show. To my right, Darlene Ortiz, Marcus, and this motherfucker from the south struggling with speech ass nigga. Oh. <laughs> My homegirl, Just Niece, popped in, yeah, y'all. Yeah, popped in. On the fat bitch, on the fat bitch day. Did you plan? I think he planned that because I was here. He was like, oh, let Yo, me, it's a coincidence. Let me play the fat bitch song. Niece going to be here today. Oh, thank you, Corey. <laughs> to my motherfucker. It's my man, motherfucker. Craig Fax in the motherfucking What's house. Popping, man. What up, Craig? It's chilling, man. Shit, goddammit, we ain't through. We got, we, we got another guest that might pop in on us today, man, to bless us. You know what I'm saying? Um, 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 I'm glad to be here, goddammit. I want to, we go, today we have a subject we want to talk about, and the subject is bringing um, negative news to your people. How do you do it? How, what is the proper protocol when telling your people some shit that ain't good? Straight to the point. Straight to the point? Yes. Don't I think, say that again? Don't be the wrong get to and, it. and it depends on what the news is. I mean, is it some bullshit Cause that, that you could have just kept to yourself? You got AIDS, Cheryl. Sorry. A lot of bullshit. <laughs> or, if it, or if it's something that they need to be worried about, then you can, you know, tell them. A lot of bullshit Great. out here. But most of it's bullshit, yeah. 90%. Well, well last week on the show, we had um, something different going on. We had the homie Flame up here. Well, Funny um, than a motherfucker. My nigga motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all niggas is putting extras on shit out there. <laughs> Flame is a human being. I ain't scared of no human. I don't give a fuck what weird shit they do. Damn. I'm a fan. Keep doing your thing, Flame. We had the homie Flame on the show last week. And of course it was something different. I tried something different. You know what I mean? Because I don't give a fuck what a motherfucker say. Flame ain't did no punk ass shit to me. A lot of motherfuckers that supposed to be alphas, the ones who do the whole shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I tried something different, and you know it, my audience ain't ready for that, and I totally understand that. But I just want y'all to know, man. Um, it was some things that happened up here that we gonna talk about, and it's gonna tie into the subject I started with. Um, how do you bring people um, news about ain't shit situations? You know what I'm saying? Because like when Flame left last week, I didn't forget of how it was. Flame, of course, Flame got motherfucking thick skin, so he can handle damn near everything. Oh, yeah. But if you notice when Flame was leaving, none of us did the regular man shit. Uh, like when you leave sometimes, you know, we give yeah, each other yeah. depth and a hug, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, I noticed, nobody, we was all like, all right, my nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's, 
I'll tell you no. why. I, go ahead. You can speak on it. I want you to speak on it because I'm going to tell you about how I felt about that. Because when Flame went and changed, I, f I forgot that was Flame. <laughs> yeah. It didn't even cross my, you know what I'm saying? It was two different people. Because I'm used to looking at Flame in a certain way. That ain't what Flame looked like when the cameras went off. It was right. a whole other motherfucker. You know what I mean? Marcus, why you ain't give Flame no motherfucker? Was, you wasn't at, nobody was acting funny. Yeah. Nobody was no. acting funny because... Really, we ain't them type of people. Right. But I noticed when Flame left, it wasn't like that. All right, my nigga. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I felt weird about it. Yeah. Like, if it happened again, I'd be like, my nigga. Yeah. I'd give him that because I'm secure within myself. Definitely. And Did you let him know? Did I didn't say this to uh, Flame yet okay. because. What would you say? Kiss. Like, like, Niggas don't kiss on the cheek. No, that ain't. That's Italian shit. I don't really kiss women. Flame on the cheek. is not a woman. Yeah, flame. She didn't say that. No, she said you would kiss a woman on the cheek. I said flame is not a woman. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I just want to say <laughs> I felt weird because flame is a human being. Yeah. Before and anything, as human beings, contact with other human beings actually gives us that whatever we need to keep forward in this world. And I don't really want people to feel isolated by me, especially if you ain't never did nothing to me. Yeah. It ain't no fake shit going on. So I want to say, I know Flame probably watching this. My nigga, it's just weird because it's different. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nobody acting funny. But I did notice all three of us was like, when Flame was like, all right, y'all, y'all be cool. He was like, all right, man. You know what I'm saying? Do they say bye like that in that community? You got to talk into the mic, Marcus, when you say something. You and Nish got to share the mic. I'm sorry. I didn't, I have mics next time. Well, see, I don't really know Flame like that. So right. I, didn't, I didn't really, you know what I'm saying, feel comfortable going over shaking that because, you know, when, they, when, she, when, it, when, when she came back, he, when, when they came back out, right? <laughs> it was it was like a totally different person. So it was like yeah. more of a personality change and everything. So I was like, yeah. yeah, he he had on his hustle. I his did hustle like thing. this. I did like this, but I, but but shit. The point I'm trying to make, man, is like I have graduated from all insecurities about who the about fuck I am. I yeah, definitely. I know who the fuck I am. I was about to elaborate on that, that that was huge but, of you to even recognize that. Like, right, that's, we, that's, but I'm right. saying like as, as black men, we have insecurities when we see another man dressed like that. And, we don't want yeah. no way of giving no false signals because niggas be ready to fight. How do if you they feel hug, disrespect come about? But how do you hug around titties? <laughs> hey, oh, that's real. I'm saying I'm not. I don't want to feel titties on a nigga. Right. But, but you could adapt. But that's why you. That's why you feel that right there because you yeah. block it right here with your phone. But I wasn't. I wasn't. You block the titties. I, I, but I wasn't conscious it. of it. But it, right. it may have been an unconscious thing. But I didn't consciously say flame leaving. Fuck all no, that. I know no, you didn't do it. You yeah. didn't do it consciously. Yeah. But I'm talking about it because. There's a gap between um, um, heterosexual males and men who sleep with men. Um, and Flame sent me something with some little bust ass nigga. This is why. This is what's gonna come back to the to the to the thing I was telling you about. Flame sent me some. He was joking about some nigga who was talking shit about um, what happened on the show or whatever. And this nigga had like forty some followers. Absolutely nobody. And, and and I was like, oh my nigga, don't send me no shit with no nigga looking for a come up of me oh. saying something to him. And of course Flame don't be around me, so he don't know that. Yeah. I would say to everybody in the world, don't bring bullshit to your peoples unless it's necessary. Man, that's right. some real shit, man. It might be a motherfucker that's talking shit about your peoples. Especially if your peoples is somebody like me and Craig and Darlene and everybody who's on the internet, we open ourselves up to motherfuckers talking shit about us. I expect people to talk shit about me. You know what I'm saying? I expect people to um, say good shit and bad shit. Because it be motherfuckers talking ball shit where I be like, I can't get mad at him no. because I don't know him. They don't understand, you know what I'm saying? They don't understand the spirit of a true comedian. Like, a lot, 99% of the shit that, shit that they say out there, we not really, we don't really take serious. Like, we'll laugh at all. Even if it's the greatest joke I heard about myself, I'm going to laugh about that shit. Mm -hmm. But normal motherfuckers, they can't endure that. So they think that the shit that work on normal motherfuckers is going to work on us. And it don't work. 
They think right. the thing. That, the, in fact, it's like it's such hypocritical shit. Cause the dude who flame um, sent, who was talking shit, he was saying something about I got receipts. Or Corey saying this. I said something about a man who will fuck a man is insane or crazy or whatever, and I believe that. Right. But that don't mean if I see somebody gay, I'm supposed to walk up to them. Oh, you fuck right. me and you ain't shit. Right. I'm like, this dude got the receipt of me saying what I said about whatever. I'm like, what so the fuck is he talking start, about? They were just trying to start something, obviously, yeah. No, actually, it's some bitch raised ass niggas who really think when you see people, just like everybody was saying, Corey, why you didn't fight Stephen A. Smith? Well, everybody wasn't saying it, but some people said it. Mm -hmm. When I had Steve, when I met Stephen A. Smith, I just don't be saying everything. Man, I had a police officer with me. My nigga got that goddamn it on him. We just ain't, we ain't humbugging motherfuckers. Right. I ain't finna motherfucker go to jail to make y'all be like, Corey got him, but he in jail. <laughs> <laughs> and lost everything. Corey got right. him, lost everything. Get your whole ass out of here, you bum ass motherfucker. It take a nigga ain't on shit. <laughs> Corey, real nigga. Right, to, to, for, for you to think you're supposed to jump bad with everybody because they live a lifestyle you might not agree with, or whatever. So I'm just saying, but like, you can bring some shit to you people, because if I see somebody smiling with somebody I know, and then talking shit about them later on, I ain't gonna lie, I'll be like, hey man, that whole ass nigga be talking shit about you. I'm talking about a nigga that know you, and then I see him later on talking shit about you, I will tell you, just like ass just niece. That bitch who was doing your jokes, I didn't like that shit. I was like, hey, niece, let me tell you about this funky ass albino bitch. Oh, I put it out there. I don't give a fuck. Ain't nobody got to like me. I'm going to put you on blast. If, you, if it's somebody who I feel like is, is, is good with me and you dirty macking them, I might say something about that. But if it's some shit that ain't nothing where they don't even know you, I'll be like, all right, get the fuck out of here. That was somebody. It was, it was some it was motherfucker, some bum like ass you. nigga. He was on. He was. He was. But he trying to come up. It's also, somebody too that just, just doesn't care for. Corey. It's a couple motherfuckers don't like me. Oh, motherfuckers they don't be. Love me either. Motherfuckers. Wow. It's motherfuckers yeah. be talking shit. They don't, and, you, and they don't even know you might. Know, you might be getting ready to move. Where they moving? Yeah. I was if thinking I about getting. Motherfuckers don't like me here, lady. Shit. Yeah, motherfucker be talking shit about you. Talk shit, man. Have you ever did anything to that baby? No. You did that <laughs> folk, man. All no. you did was try to talk. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, your yeah. accent face. Yeah, dude, that's in my accent face. <laughs> well, that nigga you, don't talk like that for real. But right. you don't even know who it is, Marcus. Like I said again, you never know who it is. It could be an ex, bitter girlfriend. It's all hidden. All these. Yeah, because like I'm telling you, whole ass niggas out there be getting phones to call people on, and then they shut the phone down once you motherfucking you 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 get a because we know. Look, we know how to find motherfuckers. I ain't gonna lie. There's people out there who are loyal to this show who can find anybody. Real spit. Anybody. I'm saying, like, you're not safe, motherfucker. It's just we ain't on that. Mm. So while you sitting up talking shit in your little $50,000 house out <laughs> in South Bend the fuck over Indiana, over there on, yeah, yeah, on Brittany Street, we know where you at, nigga. We know where you at, little hoe ass nigga. I don't take you seriously because I really think you a homosexual. Since you study my show so good, you know who I'm talking about. I ain't got to say your hoe ass name. Damn, this nigga know where I'm at. We know exactly where you at, nigga. Shut the fuck up. You right by the crib. Niggas motherfucking pull up out there. Shut the fuck up, little bitch ass nigga. Fall back. So, I'm just saying. I, Bringing your people, bringing your people bad news. Make sure the bad news is worth it. Worth it. Thank you. Yes. There you That's go. Worth it to who though? Wor <laughs> no, worth it to the person you bringing it to. Probably better if it's something they need to know. Like, uh oh, even yeah. Like niece, if I saw you getting ready to mess with a dude who I know got an STD, uh, <laughs> or whose wife is crazy or a girl, whatever. You know, I like, tell you, if I ever get mad at him. Would you? Would, <laughs> would, what would you do? If she, what would you tell her if you find out uh, G thing was about to smash? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. What's gonna go. happen? <laughs> whole ass niggas gonna be like, she quit be talking shit <laughs> and all that shit. Hey, Corey <laughs> rubbed off on him. <laughs> right, right, Corey rubbed off on him. Right, <laughs> nigga, we talk this shit. Nigga, been talking shit for years. Uh, yeah. Them put in work with the people. 
I done put in so much work with the people. I'm telling you, I think a lot of y'all wasted y'all time trying to shit on the show. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, Darlene, you been on the show since the jump. Darlene, you been to shows with... Be out there with the crowd when they walk out the door shaking everybody's hand. Am I lying? No, not at all. It was so much fun. Oh, my goodness. And I can't even do that shit no more. It ain't just no. COVID. It's just it be motherfuckers trying me. And I know when I slap the shit out of them, that's going to cost me a lot of money. We can't we can't get drinks thrown on us just standing on stage. Remember, that was crazy. Oh, yeah, the crazy lady crazy who was finna throw that drink. Yeah. This One day I did a show and this crazy ass white right lady was walking up to the stage with her drink. <laughs> but one of my right homeboys who was a white boy, a straight Ooh. heel billy. Hillbillies either love niggas or hate niggas. <laughs> you better hold down, bitch. <laughs> right. You better hold down, bitch. Hey, dog, this is this. You better this, simmer down. I think they have yeah, simmer down. <laughs> I'll Dan fuck you. Dan ain't no joke. Dan, when Dan booked me to perform at his wedding, I was like, Are Oh, this was at a wedding? Serious? No. No, this no. one at a wedding. Oh, but the oh, white boy who was the manager of the club asked me to perform at his wedding. Yeah. And when I was there, I saw all white people. Mm. And I was like, oh my God, Dan, are you serious? You want me to perform? He looked me in my eye. He said, hey, those are my people. <laughs> They're my type of guy. They hate you, but they love they said, me, buddy. They said, don't switch it up. No, he told me, don't switch it up. Do like, what you do. These was them real hillbillies. They was like, <laughs> talk about them bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You about you, baby? <laughs> right. <laughs> Does he know you? I like them nigga bitches. <laughs> but he picked her up like a sack of potatoes. But no, nah, that bitch was getting ready to, at a show. Dan was the manager of the club. Yeah. And the bitch looked like she was going to throw that drink. Dan NFL tackled this bitch. She did, Is though, that right? Did he, he opened the door with the bitch head. Am I lying? Yep, no, he didn't. He ran right He threw that bitch out. He opened the door with that bitch head. <laughs> hey. Hey. After, like, he, after he tackled her. Sitting? After he tackled her, he sang the, uh, the national anthem. White uh, people love the national anthem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they love the national they anthem. They love that shit, man. They always my to... phone. Is Salute the flag, that? Corey. Yeah. <laughs> Probably Marcus, motherfucking. Oh, phone. That's I thought you went off. Came from over that one. I came from motherfucking just niche and shit. <laughs> Did you do any cracker jokes at the uh, white wedding? I don't have cracker jokes. Really? My jokes is about how people of opposite sex don't get along. Men and women don't get along. Yeah. That's why it's universal. Yeah. We all have problems with getting these women to act right. Oh, I said women. I'm losing it. No. I, 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 I knew something was different when I seen you wearing all that purple. I'm like, Corey. <laughs> My boys, the men outfit, goddamn it! Corey brought the pop out in them. Oh. <laughs> when I put this on, I knew they was gonna let me yeah. in. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> y'all don't know Cor Corey got on purple blue jeans. I ain't never seen yeah, it before. Why? Like nigga, <laughs> what you did him up at? Look, somebody. Yes. Oh, Look, them mom. girls, they put the, the hearts up. They love me. They love that. See? <laughs> oh, man. With Corey, how many pussies have you hit in your lifetime if you had oh, to give me a solid number? You mean people I've had sex how with? How many pussies have you partaken in the total sum? How many wombs have you done? Are we, we just being honest. We being oh, honest. Oh, no. We're just faking. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm saying without exaggerating. Without exaggerating. I know I'm in the woo, woo. I done fucked a thousand bitches. Okay, I ain't got a thousand, but I'm over five hundred for sure. Oh, I done fucked about a thousand bitches. Mexico used to be ten dollars. I used to fuck ten bitches a day oh, in Mexico. I was. No. <laughs> yeah. Darling, you ain't gonna tell the truth about how many bodies you got on you. No, not necessary. No. She said not necessary. <laughs> just because you got nine hundred, don't no, mean you better than me. No, because regardless, people are just gonna want to speculate and throw out whatever they want anyway. I don't care. You don't care? No. Why you won't they're tell? Gonna, they're going to do it anyway, because I'm a woman. Have you slept with over 20 men? Uh, that's nobody's business. That means more than that. There you go. See, he's going to always come up with his own little thing, so I don't care. Marcus, how many balls you hit for you? Arkansas, it's got to be easy to the motherfuckers oh. in Arkansas. Man, I, hey, I used to have oranges and everything, so I used to have a lot of business. Oh, so you got a double, a triple, triple yeah, that yeah, I was. I was knocking him four, five at a time. Uh oh, that, that's the lie, Bill. That was that's God. Who does he lie? That's God. That is God. Nigga, lie like a motherfucker.
motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> That's God, <laughs> nigga. You, you just got Dr. Umar on that show, nigga. <laughs> hey, Dr. Umar, I got respect for you, but that shit was funny as hell. It's a joke, my dude. Oh, With that phone rod, nigga. Don't no, no disrespect, Dr. Umar. Don't be mad at me. Uh, I nigga, hope I hope Umar can take a joke. He be taking money. <laughs> <laughs> we comedians, nigga, and I'm your size. Right. Don't run up. I dog walk. Yeah. I promise you. The yo. obese internet dude <laughs> takes money from food <laughs> 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 Don't be on my to open episode. a school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking with you, my nigga. Don't be mad at me. I got respect for you. I see your intelligence when you talk. Yeah. God damn it. See, I bought the brooms and all that type of shit. I ain't got to the books in the class oh, yet, but I bought God. the brooms and all the crazy right. shit. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Y'all look related, Nah, I got this. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that shit was funny, Dr. Umar. That shit was funny, did a motherfucker. See, I be making enemies, and I don't even be trying to make enemies. I'm a comedian, I crack jokes. Hey, no, he put up a video. He said he, he, might not know he bought all the pee clothes and shit, but he just got a front of his to put them. <laughs> Nigga, niggas get so sensitive about jokes. Once again, Dr. Umar, I'm sincere <laughs> when I say these are jokes, yeah, and I mean no harm. That. That was so niggas you be getting get mad. I seen a that. nigga, an internet nigga, we get his ass whooped look, at a black power motherfucking meeting. Mm. I am not lying. Who? This internet nigga got his ass stole on at a black power meeting. Was he black? The blackest nigga in there got oh. stole on at a black power meeting. <laughs> Some people know what I'm talking about. I can't say their name. Thanks, Robin M. <laughs> Thanks, Robin M. No, I wasn't there, but it was on the internet. Would you, if, if Omar owed you he money? He was a nigga who talked shit about black women. Oh. And when he was at this black power thing, them niggas was like, hey, you? that's that nigga right there. He talking this shit. And he tried to get loud, because you know when you get loud, everybody, yeah, everybody, everybody be like, cool out, cool out. He was like, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That nigga, that nigga was on the dark street with his camera. Like, I will fuck them niggas up. <laughs> But see, the nigga get mad if I make a joke about that and I'm a comedian. Yeah. Like he take it personal. Them nigga, y'all I don't can't do nothing about it. This shit is too funny. Comedy's comedy. Nigga. I hope I don't never get stolen on. I know that shit. When I show up to the show, I'm gonna be like, hey y'all, what's up? Because yeah, yeah. I can stole on, I'm gonna show up the next week. Fuck it. I'm gonna take it. Give it to me, nigga. Give it to me. I took a loss, goddammit. <laughs> Hey, if, if Jermaine Dupree whoop my ass, that's what I'm gonna say. No, I'm fuck with. <laughs> if oh, been down. If, Stop looking at my tonsils cool. through my teeth. Yeah, big girls, you cool. Big, I'll be single mom. Yeah. I'm gonna be like, when you talking that shit? <laughs> He's gonna have that clumps fist. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> Hey, Corey, if, um, if Omar owed you more than $1,000 <laughs> and he wanted to write you a check to pay you, would you trust the check? Would you take the check or would you? Omar ain't going to owe me no $1,000 because I chalk it up to the game. I ain't fucking with that nigga. That nigga ain't getting that money back and I don't blame him. Oh, if you sweet enough to think this nigga finna open a school and you still want to give him some Kobe money. just pushed it back a little. Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Tim Mark is laughing. Like him. <laughs> the school ain't happening, nigga. That nigga going to have 10 students in that bitch. They're going to be all his kids. <laughs> <laughs> hey, niggas, we, this is, the, the name of my show is called a 5150 show. Hello. That means, that's a police code for crazy, for everybody who don't know. We say crazy shit on the show, but it don't mean we hate you. No. You ain't got to be hated. I'm a crack jokes, nigga, fuck it. You want a hug? I'm a crack jokes. Right, like, we gonna crack jokes, man. I done crack jokes, like I said. Wasn't I the first motherfucker who said, I used to talk shit about Charles Barkley? And then you saw him. And then I saw him up close. Yeah. <laughs> Barkley, a dog walk your ass, Craig. <laughs> he a big nigga, I met him. He big than a motherfucker. Yeah, he, big nigga. He, he that wide big, too. He, 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 he be like, abnormal. God damn, this nigga fat and mm. tall. He's big. So I took a picture with him, like, ooh, that look like your daddy. I was like, God damn, Charles. Okay. Ooh, oh, he's said that to you? I mean, well, we did oh. not look like. I don't know if it was him or me. Oh. I just realized you look like Barkley. I do look like Barkley, right? I wasn't 
Uh, undeveloped, <laughs> undeveloped Barkley in this motherfucker. <laughs> you came out in four months. <laughs> so you're a big solid. He, 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 yeah, he, he, big. he fat, but oh, I can tell. Big dog walking shit. No, he, he's a little short in the field, but he's one of them wide. He wide the motherfucker, yes. dog. Well, he ain't I, those dog uh, walking. Like shit, that nigga grab you, it's a wrap. Yeah, he ain't gonna be able to grab him. Blue's gonna move. No, no I'm, I'm worried about if I get into a fight with an MMA fighter yeah, yeah. or a nigga who got uh, um, strength that come from nowhere ass nigga. Yeah. I know a nigga. Nigga used to open up for me on the road. His name Big Said Bitch. from <laughs> Dallas. You know Big Said. Mark is <laughs> Hey man, Big Said was strong than a motherfucker. Yeah. It, man, look, Big Said, big goofy looking motherfucker. He about six four, six five, yeah. right? When yeah. has he been in a fight? A real fight, he, he built, I'm gonna give you a I got in a fight uh maybe about a couple of years ago, maybe a year and a half the one year ago. The, the one the, the one up there, the uh the Crave. 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 I'm gonna yeah. give y'all Craig. Oh, wow. He built like the one. Okay. Yeah. He be like the one? Yeah. yeah, but motherfucker, hey, hey, Sam's strong than a motherfucker, dog. Yeah. Sam's strong than a motherfucker. It's like, you would try him too, because of how he look, and he be, the way he dresses and shit, but I'm saying, yo, be talking shit don't get into it with Craig. <laughs> dog, Craig got the strength of a Louisiana nigga. Oh, them, yeah, them Louisiana niggas are strong as <laughs> <laughs> Them horse head people, hey, the man. people from a tribe that got broke up. Hey, I, I don't try to fight me because I do not want to fight. If you make me fight, I, man. I used to be a bouncer at a bar like about five years ago. Well, who did you bounce, niggas? Several <laughs> niggas. But one of, the, one of the times, the last fight I got into, it was this dude that was the leader of this biker gang. Okay. And he was drunk and the owner was like, yeah, you got to get him out of here. So I went to him because I know this was a killer ass nigga. And I was like, hey, man, the owner say it's time to go. You drunk. So you put it on the owner. Go ahead. Yeah, of course. Nigga, I ain't no killer. <laughs> no, so dude was like, yeah, all right, cool. So when he got up, he got up and was walking out. And I'm behind him. I got to guide him into the alley. And I'm not knowing it's like a few dudes behind me. Ooh. And so as soon as we opened the door for him to walk into the alley, he turned and fire on me. Bow. Hit me in my, in my chin. And then the other dudes came running out behind me. They both hit me in the back oh. of the head. They all ran and scattered. But niggas in the street, when they fight like that, they're trying to get you to chase somebody, chase, chase yeah. somebody so you'll be away from everybody away. and they yeah. can either shoot you or do what they're going to do. White. Yeah, they were, no, no, they weren't white. They was Latino. So, uh, <clears throat> so now I'm standing in the middle of the alley. That was some whole shit. Yeah. I'm standing in the middle of the alley. I'm like, man, what's happening? I'm like, come back. You know, I'm not stupid enough to chase you. And another dude, come walk, come, he's like sitting on the wall outside the bar, and he's laughing. Ooh. So I don't even know if this nigga had anything to do with it or oh. not. So I just eased over there and knocked that nigga out. Made you feel better. <laughs> Damn. That's messed but up. But that was the last time I got into a fight, man. Yeah. Uh, it happens, man. Yeah. Especially uh -huh. if you're doing security. Security uh -huh. is a cold job. Uh -huh. You already know you're going to get into it one day. Uh -huh. If you if you security, was you the type of security be like, hey, homie, look, I'm going to need you to do this. Or was you the type of security be like, hey, y'all, come here. We got one. <laughs> no, I was rowdy. I was rowdy. You was rowdy? Yeah, I was rowdy. I was super rowdy. I remember one time when I was a young nigga, I don't even know if I told this story. In Chicago, uh, I, I, was on the, I was on the bus, and this nigga had his hat broke off to the left, which in Chicago, that means, you know, he, yeah, he, no, he a vice lord. Vice lord, okay. He had his hat broke off to the left, like straight campaigning for real. Yeah. But he looked like he was a little faded back there, right? Yeah. So why I look up and I saw all these GD niggas finna get on the bus. Man. About four of them. Oof. So I just got up and stole them. I was like, I was waiting on y'all, folks. Is, uh, get this thing up. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I already knew. I wouldn't be that nigga look like I'm with him. Oh, yeah, because they gonna sacrifice him. Yeah, right. went for it. Damn. Damn. That's crazy. Something as little as, as the hat, you know what I'm saying? No, that hat being shit turned in Chicago, up, real. It don't matter Niggas what Niggas do team. this every few minutes when you're neutral. <laughs> Used to be at them basketball games, like the mayor's tournament, motherfucking shit. Motherfucker don't even wear a hat, nigga. If Zoe lived in Chicago, he wouldn't wear a hat. <laughs> like a little Kango. Hey, yeah, what you niche a asking people about fight. When the last fight you had, Niche? You know what? When I got out of jail last year. Yeah. I just want to watch the bitch. This is it. If I could fight. You ain't never had a fight? I never had a fight. In your life? 
ever. I don't think I give my ass whooped. In school, he didn't either. No, I'm cool. What? Who wanna fight me? I'm cool. So if a bitch wanted to fight me, she was just a hanging ass bitch. But I do want to like fight somebody. We are gonna set that up. Set up something. Let's do it. Won't be a good fight like a for me. Bitch. Don't fight me like a oh, big hoe. Oh. But give me like somebody like Crystal Face. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> One of the frail motherfuckers, like five two. Some of them little bitches had that ant strength. Hands. I want to start. Yeah. I done beat a couple of bitches' ass ball. to gain me some competition. Yeah. I ain't even gonna lie. Oh, bitches out there with shit. I got a better question, Corey. I got a when better last question. Time you slap that nigga. Now that was three years ago. When, a, <laughs> when the last time you lost a fight? Um, I'm I lost a fight at 24 Hour Fitness. For oh. real? Okay. I say I lost the fight because I I got I wind up getting into it with about four people. Well, okay. Over what? Um, shit, That's getting heated at them basketball games. <laughs> but this one nigga I got into a fight with, he was a security guard at a pr at a prison, as I found out later. Oh, that's a real fight. But when I was losing the fight, I grabbed this broomstick and I broke it in half and I walked out on the court. And this white dude came up to me and snatched the broomstick oh, 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 oh. and looked at me and walked away. And everybody froze. <laughs> everybody in the gym just froze. But I already knew what it was. I just let things calm down. Because it was like when the white boy, or, or I'll put it like this, when the white man snatched the broomstick from me, everybody stopped fighting. So I went and walked downstairs and walked around, calmed down a little bit. Because the white boy didn't run. He went right back over to the machine he was working out on, dropped the stick, and started back working out he on the like, machine. Cut it out. <laughs> I waited about 10, 15 minutes. I walked right over to him. I said, you the police agent. No. He said, you're damn right. Oh. And when you bring that stick into it, that turns into another charge. Oh, it was I was like, wow. Oh, I <laughs> but yeah. I knew he was the police because he wasn't scared of shit. Yeah, yeah. When I tell you that motherfucker, he looked at me after he took the stick. Ooh, and then oh walked God. away yeah. and said, I was like, he was, cool. he was cool for that. Yeah, I was froze, man. I already, I was like, that's the police. Who you bring the stick for? I got into it with too many motherfuckers. Yeah, he was about to do, uh, he was about to do some, yeah, uh, some ninja shit. I, it, it was too many motherfuckers. When that nigga, <laughs> when that one nigga got up right off me on the ground, because that nigga grabbed my eye. Oh, he could have no. pulled my oh. eye out. Oh, no. And then he said, I'm a motherfucking prison, prison guard. I'll fuck that nigga up. But I, I, when you fight, you don't give a fuck. I was like, nigga, that was luck. You got close to my eye. I damn, I damn knocked the nigga eye out one time, nigga. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Did one, you? Yeah, yeah. I think that was the last fight I got into here. Wait, little grammar school, nigga? <laughs> said, nigga said second grade. Oh, nigga tried it, man. Nigga tried to rob me with a crowbar. <laughs> I'm the fuck out here robbing niggas. If a nigga rob you with a crowbar, that nigga needs some money. I'm yeah, finna open up your wallet with this motherfucker. I picked the nigga up. Oh, like I picked the nigga. Uh, I don't know where that, that, that it was like extra strength came from, nigga. I picked the nigga up like this. When you got rock him up, no, pow, like this hill, and I just got him. Wow. Why the nigga I was Get him, I was like just like this. Ooh, it was hanging. it was hanging down. You broke the spring. My partner said you see him the next Ooh. day. He was like, oh my god, oh. nigga, I thought you knocked that nigga out. That, that shit was hanging like. Well, well, I, shit I, I, I was just on it though. Yeah. yeah. I was in that same if you break, if you break my socket, where well, you think the eye gonna go? That's yeah. True. Go on. Yeah. But when you that fight, you gotta get you. You just go for it. I'm done with that shit. I wait, man. Exactly. I don't. My mind get there and then I just talk like this shit ain't working. No. It just, I don't know. Now. It don't be exciting no more. It used to be exciting to square up with a nigga and see what was, what was going to happen, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, Somebody said Mark is lying. Why do you always think I'm lying, man? Because <laughs> 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 they be fucking with you, nigga. If you watch these niggas in the gym. Somebody said Mark is with a soldier boy story. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. You gotta be strong to pick a nigga up with one arm. Nah, yeah, I did. Yeah. You know yeah. you pick a nigga up like up under. I pick a nigga up under like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and, oh, with oh, that okay. crown okay. yeah. yeah. hand out there, he gonna pick you up. Yeah. Yeah. That was a baby or a baby. There wasn't no head in nigga though. He was, he was, right. yeah. was about my weight. Mm -hmm. I had been working out and shit a little bit, so, you know, he caught me at the wrong time, nigga. Mm. You was drunk? Huh? Yeah, I, I was drunk. Uh -oh. I was shooting dice and shit. Oh, there you go. I don't yeah. see I'm glad we got two women on the panel now because now we can talk about some shit that it seemed like we'll be isolating D out. We'll be like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, 
what are you saying? I don't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Now we can talk Yay. about. Let, hey, let's switch. The, let's switch the subject to some shit that everybody loves to deny, but everybody do it. Oh, please don't let it be an asshole. It ain't, but but uh, no. <laughs> it ain't. It ain't what it could be. Uh, no, if that's just too monotonous, no. I want to add. I'm gonna fuck it. I'm gonna wait for my guest to come in since he's here, and, and and I want him he to be like part to of go this. There either. I want him to be part of this panel. Fuck that shit. My nigga ain't no motherfucking scary motherfucker. He gonna say what it is. <coughs> what up, baby? Come on, sit down, man. Have a seat, motherfucker. What's up, what's up? Yeah, yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. One of the one of the original ghetto boys, my man, Willie D in the yeah. house, man. What's up, man? I put your motherfucking head wide open like a watermelon. Love you, boy. <laughs> Willie D in the motherfucking house. Marcus, you talking about Today, that's my nigga Marcus, that's Just Niche, this Craig Fetch, my motherfucking yeah, yeah. nigga. Look, Marcus, today you was talking about working on getting your speech fixed. Yeah. My nigga Willie D went platinum talking like you. I <laughs> loud. <laughs> 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 Hey, hey, Willie D used to rhyme some words. I used to be like, that shit. Patrick shit did sound good, though. Willie, they give Marcus a hard time, Willie, because he's from Arkansas. He's from Arkansas. Yeah, he got a real deep accent yeah, sound. Yeah, you unique, man. Yeah. Don't try to fit in. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. I thought about that. Ain't that crazy? He here right when you said that. Yeah. You can learn other things just because you want to learn other things. <laughs> yeah. But... What makes you unique is who you are. Yeah, cause I was trying to be like them folks, you know, them British, British folks, man. You know, they come down here and they just be playing all them characters and shit, man. And they be cold with it. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, like Daniel, you can lock up. What, what's his name? Oh, it's the, hard to pronounce. I know. Yeah, the, the, there's the, a lot of British. British. Judas and yeah. the Black Messiah? Yeah. Boy, I ain't cold. seen it. Oh. Judas and the Black Messiah. You seen him, Willie? He did yeah. get out. He did get he out. Vi- he from Victorville. He is not. <laughs> I promise you, he's from Victorville. He, he is not. He's, he's from British. London. No, the dude who played the FBI informant. Nah, oh, we t- I'm talking about. I'm talking about. He's from right up. I'm talking about the one who played. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're yeah, talking about that. Well, he was in Get Out too, though. Oh, what? Well, I sure was. was. Yeah. Get Out was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was in Get Out. He was the nigga guy. acting crazy. Yeah, okay. yeah, you talking about the one that's going yeah. at it with Charlamagne? I'm, I'm talking about the nigga who played Fred Hampton, though. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That boy Cole, man. I was listening to nigga talk today on on Breakfast Club rebooted or whatever they is, and I was like, damn, this nigga talk like that. Yeah, that nigga wouldn't be getting no hoes though if he wasn't for that shit. I'm just saying. I'm going to get all, I'm going to get me a fruit little accent. I've been learning Spanish here lately. You know so here's saying? the question. I'm going to ask this question just because I be throwing a whole bunch of bullshit in the pond. And if it don't apply to you, then just say it don't apply to you. But I want to ask everybody on the panel. Did you feel guilty after you fucked somebody married? Anybody want me to go first? Mm. Mm. <laughs> look, at, look at Willie D like, Corey, you brought me over here for this. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the, question again? the question is, did you feel guilty after you fucked somebody who was married? Um, I don't think I have ever felt guilty. Yeah, I, did. uh, I didn't feel guilty like that. I felt like I was doing a service. Oh, I was just going to say I felt like I was fulfilling a duty. That's what I was going to say. Will you please elaborate on that, my brother? Please. Okay, what I'm saying is that, like, you know, you know I'm the cleanup man, right? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Now, 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 you know, like in the song, I said, when you hit it and make her cry, I'll be there to dry her eye. I'm the cleanup man, uh-huh. you know? And this is what I do, man, because, uh, you know, these women need affection. You know, and, and if you don't give them affection, then they go, it, it, it's a natural thing for a woman to want affection. Yeah, a woman like to get her back knocked out and all that every now and then. But they also want affection. <laughs> and this is the part that dudes miss. See, when dudes have... When not a, like not women, infection, but like affection. When, 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 dudes, <laughs> when dudes like something, uh-huh. when dudes like something, they want it all the time. And right. they don't know how to cut it off. Women like different things at different times. So when a dude get in a groove, he want to stay in that groove forever, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. He don't know how to pump the brakes. Woman wants you to pump the brakes and switch it up. And you got to be willing to do that. <laughs> so I encourage women I fuck with to find an infectious dude. 
A dude that shows infection. Infectious? No. no. <laughs> I said infectious, too. Yeah, Air horn infection. Affection. Oh my God. Yeah. An affectionate dude. <laughs> yeah. 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 What? Go find a sick nigga, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, now that comes with also, uh, brother Willie. That comes with uh, wisdom from being out here for a while too. Not, not necessarily. No, 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 no. I, I had that. I had that like early like twenties. Like I'm talking like twenty one, twenty two. I had, you got that from wow. your parents? Like, had, did you see your dad? No, 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 no. I was, I'm a product of a single, single mother, you know? Mm -hmm. But, um, well, product of a mother and a father, but, you know, raised by a right. single mother. Right, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but, no, I, I see, when I, I was in school, I list, I took um, homemaking class. God, oh, nobody was that. Oh, it was the best. No, y'all don't understand. Hey, Just let play. me say this before he finish. This man went Golden Glove in Texas. Mm -hmm. Niggas who know about fighting know what that means. If you went Golden Glove in Texas, and right. then you took what class did you take? Homemaking. Home I love homemaking. Yes. Now check, but check this. But you, now check it. this out. Why, my, my 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 best friend, he he's the one that that encouraged me to take the class. When he first mm -hmm. came to me to take the class, I was like, man, I don't want to be in there with no damn homemaking class with a bunch of women. He said. Willie, Hello. that's the yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, it's just going to be me and you. Yep. And all the girls. Uh -huh. And I was like, let's do this. Okay. So, I, so I get in, right? And so I listen. And I would listen to women talk. We listen to the girls talk about what they didn't you like. listen to a woman talk? Yeah. Yeah. It works. Oh, it's, wor it's, been, it's beneficial. It's been, it has its benefit. So I'm listening. And you know, you know the, the the main thing that 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 women hate, what girls hated, was guys that talk, kiss and tell. That was the main oh, thing growing yeah. up. Yeah. That's the main thing they hated mm -hmm. more than anything. Yeah. But I listened, 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 and then when I got out of high school, I continued to listen. You see, m most men will not listen. They refuse to listen. Yeah, for real. I ain't gonna lie. You know? yeah. So after a bitch say her about the eighth word. I <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm a getter, though. You know, I'm a getter. Yeah. I feel you. Craig, so your, your experience with fucking married people, did you feel guilty? No, I didn't. But I didn't. I wouldn't do it again, like, knowingly, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The you a times. goddamn lie. No, I wouldn't. No. So you saying you wouldn't know a girl who's married and still fuck with her at this stage in your life? Nah, not, not at this point, because I don't want that karma, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. But um, when I was younger, yeah, the, the two times, the chicks didn't tell me till after, you know what I'm saying? We smashed a few times, and they liked it. They didn't tell you? They didn't tell me they was married. Mm. The two times I did it, yeah. So you... The two times that you knew that they were... You was the victim. When I'm, yeah, I found out after I started smashing... Mm -hmm. See, see, like the like, like when the the, the the woman that inspired the, the clean up man song, mm -hmm. she was married. This oh. is a true story. She was married, and you know she would come over, and um, you know I I treated totally opposite the way dude treated, cause she was always beefing with dude. So when a, like I. I I, I do it like this, right? Like, in life, like, it's hard out there in the streets already. We, it's, it's hard to trust people. We always, we always have our guards up. And so when I come home, I want some tender loving and peace. I don't argue. Mm -hmm. I do not argue in my house at all. Like, none. I don't do that. I don't have friends to come over my house and argue. I don't do, like, my house is peaceful. It's so a sanctuary. Wrong, right? So when you walk in my house, you know, you got a friend, you know, this family. And so... I, I expect the same thing when I'm in a relationship with a woman. So when a woman come around me, you know, it's something totally different than the vibe that she gonna get around another dude. So this particular woman, her and her dude was always beefing and he used to put hands on her. Mm. And so, what, so when he put hands on her to hurt her, I would put hands on her to caress her. Mm. Okay. And I put hands on her. That is so I put beautiful. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, 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 but I'm serious. 
And listen. You know why you put demands on her to listen. caress her? Yeah. Because that bitch what? was bleeding when she oh, got to your house. <laughs> now, what? what she was a cut man. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold blood. That's cold blood. That's cold blood. That's cold blood. That's cold more humble than a beat up bitch. I promise. <laughs> but, but, I'm a t- but, I, but here's the thing, though. Like, here's the thing. Like, I don't like dudes that whoop women. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, 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 when, so when she came around, I loved it. I loved it. I like why I'm satisfying her. I tell her, like, fuck that nigga. Uh, you know? Straight uh, up. I tell, I tell her, man, straight up. You, know, you ain't got no business yeah. doing nothing but smacking the shit out of bitch. Anything <laughs> after that is too, that's success. Yeah, right. See what I mean? Yeah, right. To me, when I was in a uh, married chick. Okay. Yeah, we want to hear your married chick situation. Yeah, I mean, I feel like. You know, I was doing him a favor. He know? 30 years old, ladies. 32 years I'm old. I'm 32. My bad. I uh, feel like I was doing him a favor because that man was working out, doing all, all these hours. You know, he was busy all the time. He ain't have the time to do that. So I feel like I was feeling that duty for him. I was doing him a favor. Not uh, worse than a woman that cheats on a man because he's working too much. But it happens all the time. Yeah. To me, that's the lowest yeah, form that's of ridiculous. a female. Yeah. Because if I'm supposed, you know, yeah. if, if well, let, let's get the women, cause they and they ain't said shit yet. Oh, niche and D, it. what do y'all have to say? Did y'all feel preaching. guilty when y'all <laughs> fuck Mary? I was just trying to see what that thing was for. Uh, yeah, like so when I was fucking these married niggas, the only time I felt bad. <laughs> Was when the bitch chased me down Cicero, <laughs> <laughs> and then because I didn't, I didn't feel bad because I'm not married. I was single, right, you know. What right. I'm so I'm not, I don't owe nothing to nobody. Uh-huh. That's you? your marriage. But when I found out the bitch was married, she chased me down Cicero, and she got out of the car. And she was like, "Oh, I'm a, oh, I'm a bear." Like she all in the church. I was like, "Oh, just let me work on my marriage. Like leave him alone, pretty much." And I was like, "All right, oh, God oh, damn, you on my nerves." Damn it, I felt. You better make you stop chasing me, bitch. Please. And then, like I say, she the, the oldest car. I don't know how that motherfucker kept up with me. You but knew the, the when he was married. Um, eventually, but like I was like Craig, I was a victim yeah. to a lying ass motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So yeah, after we started fucking around, I didn't find out he was married till I got chased down right. to Cicero. You didn't know he was married, right? No, not so until you and Craig on the same shit. Yeah, they be getting us, man. I don't know what it be. They be getting us. Stop. But then the <laughs> the other nigga. Now I knew. Now I'm just playing. Now I, I can't never I say. <laughs> I can't never say every married bitch I fuck with. I knew they was married. I just knew they was some ain't shit bitches. Right. Mm. And I felt like, why should I miss out on this bitch physical gifts? <laughs> <laughs> because some fool believed in her. That's just how I always felt. But I do try. I, well, I'm going to tell you something. But you I married. never let your bitch talk shit about you while I'm with her. And you I married. always stop that But you that married. Shit. It's different, Corey, because you married. So you got mm-hmm. something to lose. I feel like married people should be able to fuck around on each other because they both got something to lose. But like a single motherfucker fucking with a married motherfucker, that's a different ball game. Because uh. I ain't got but, shit but, to but, like, like, I'll fuck your shit up. But to, to your point, women don't normally... Just like them. talking about dudes and shit when they're around you. They, they don't, they're trying to forget that fool. Like, like, I don't... I don't even accept that. I don't want to hear shit about him. But ain't that you know dangerous, Willie, if you don't know about this nigga that's I, I looking know, for this bitch yes, and love this bitch? No, 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 no. I know about him. You know about him. Yeah. But he doesn't okay. know about you. I'm cold. That's, was you married too? I'm cold. Nah, nah, nah. So you were single, fucking married. Yeah. But Corey was yeah. just a married ass, cheating ass motherfucker. Right? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I couldn't even Corey was just a married, <laughs> cheating ass Because it's different. If you marry, it's different. Yeah, so I you would. ain't guilty because you married, you fucking around, yeah. your wife probably that's what, around. That's what make you feel better, but let me tell you something. When you yeah. fuck with married people and you know they married, you destroy in the neighborhood. It is bad, though. I mean, I've, I've had situations where I, I'll admit mm-hmm. that they've told me and I fell to that whole, I admit it, I fell to that whole part where they say, Oh, but we're 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 going through a divorce right oh, now. We're breaking up. Yeah, oh, we're, yeah. We said we're breaking up, and I'm years. like, oh, okay. Well, then it's it's fine. Yeah. And then and then a lot of times, if you want to get involved Make with somebody, because women most of the time, if it's not, it's very rare that it's just that wham bam thing. It's like, uh oh, you start getting some feelings for somebody. Then that's when it just gets messed up, and it's like, wait a second. Uh, ah, I feel for the yeah. okie doke. You know what I'm saying? He told me he was gonna yeah. get divorced. Then in another situation, well, a couple of them, but one main one. I oh, had, I had, me. oh yeah, no, I had somebody Money. very they stay famous. Trigger, darling. <laughs> hey, somebody that's super famous. All these famous. victims of No, 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 listen. No, he, he right. asked me to go, to be his lady, like go out with him. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You are married. You're like, no, no, no. Be like a, no, wait a, a second. Man. No, no, no. And then he said, I'm about to be in your situation in two months. Cause I had just, you know, broke off with my, my ex. And he, I said, well, but you're not now. 
And he goes, but what's wrong with that? I go, no, 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 you have kids, you guys are married, I would look like this, look. And plus, you, you hitting on me like that makes me feel some sort of way because you're looking at me like I'm that kind of girl that mm -hmm. would just drop, okay, I wanna mess around with this dude. And he's super out there, like he's big time. And I just, I denied it, I said no. And he's called me probably three times that same year, like, look, I'm about to be, well, you're not. And then about two, <laughs> and then about two months later, after the third phone call, my sister called me and said, did you see? Because it was in the news, like, he's getting a divorce. I'm like, I don't care. But he, yeah. but he did not, he looked at me like somebody that was willing to mess around with him and go everywhere with him until that happens. No, call mm -hmm. me when it happened. If you're a divorced man, you're not now, though. So the fact that I knew, I, I just didn't, I just didn't feel right. I even told him, I was like, that's messed up. They messed up. I said, you guys have so many kids and little ones too. Like, I couldn't do it. So did y'all really... link up afterwards? No, like, like no. Like once he got nope. the divorce, because you didn't trust him. Well, that too. And I was already at the time with Smith. But, okay. but he respect that. And when I ran into him later on, he actually said, wow, I've never had anybody say that to me. I've always had a woman because of who I am and the money <laughs> and get with him. So he, was, yeah. he admitted it. He was like, I've never had anybody say that. Look Damn. at this hater. Look at All this right. guy. Tell me what is yeah. in my LD. If it ain't no paperwork, it ain't cheating, though. A lot of people just out here jump in the room, but they ain't got no legal documentation. And they accuse no. the motherfuckers of cheating. That's interesting. Yeah. No, 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 no. Here, here, but here, let's hear what, let's hear what he got to say. No, no, no. no, no, no. I want to hear what Willie got to say let's about get, this. Let's get this. Let's get this documentation Tommy thing Law straight. Is real. <laughs> uh, see, Law. see, listen. Mm. When, 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 when you are. When you express to somebody that you're committed to that person, that's what it is, with or without paperwork. That's why they have common law marriages, you know. Right. So, so, so the paperwork only, only the paperwork is only for legal purposes, you know. That's for the courts and stuff like that, the white folks. Right. But me and you know what it is, mm. all right. So if if I tell you this is what it is and you tell me this is what it is and we agree, that's what it is. Now, going back to my role as a, a, a man of God. <laughs> Damn, look, not really, no. Now, going back, now, going back to my role as cleanup man, okay? Oh. <laughs> All right. When I, when, when I was with that woman, what I did with her, I did, and I loved doing it. I loved making her feel good. I loved making her happy. And I hated the fact that she had to go through the shit that she was going through. But she wanted to go through it. She went through it. She w I mean, it was on her to go Who through you it. Who you now? There's nothing did. that I could okay, do about it. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I just feel like this. What? Every woman <laughs> that I that? have had sex with. <laughs> she thinking, will he be? That's what she's <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Every woman I have sex with, I am above you. You ain't got no business questioning me about it. Shit! I am above you! My dick has been in you! Shut the fuck up and do your assignment! <laughs> what the fuck else is there to say? I'm saying like, is that, is that foul thinking? Yeah, like, I'm fucking you, what are you talking about? Did you ask me why? You are disrespecting our union. You gotta give her a 1099. It ain't no union yeah. when you're self-employed. I think you gotta do it. I think you gotta do what makes you sleep good. Do what makes you sleep good. It's do what makes you it's sleep to good. Each it's, but, right. but, yeah. it's to each his own. Yeah, that's like yeah, yeah. No, you know, like like because that's that's you. I can't be mad. That's exactly. you. And for the women, the, for the women that fuck with you like that. Oh come on. I ain't. Exactly. But I, I, hey, that's them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yep. They get what they ask for, you know what I'm saying? You, you. you don't get complain. what you deserve, you get what you negotiate. Okay. Right. So that's uh, what they negotiate. No, 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 no. but negotiations yeah. are rarely put on the table in the beginning. Yes. Yeah, Everybody well, actually too. negotiations are put on the table, but what happens is that women are usually switched up to negotiations oh, no. first. No. Say that again. Yeah, women do is. women do I change first. Church right Case now. in point. A woman will say, you can tell a woman, look, hey, hey, look, you know. Well, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't looking for nothing serious. And she's like, you know, and she's like, yeah, well, ma'am, I like that. I'm not looking for anybody serious e either. Because mm. a woman like to be able to have those options to be like, if I decide I'm going to fuck with you, you're right there. But if I don't, then I don't owe you nothing. I ain't got to be around your ass. I ain't got to be fucking with you. Mm. So women like to have those options. So in, in the beginning, you could tell a woman, yes, uh, I don't want to be serious. You know, I'm not looking for a monogamous relationship. And she'll agree. What will happen is that she has the option. She all, she's always the one that's going to change up first. Mm. The woman would be like, if she don't like you and she realized it ain't happened, nothing venture, nothing gain, she cool, she gone. Mm -hmm. 
But if she changes her mind and she starts really liking you and digging you, she's going to come to you and say, okay, what are we doing? All right. I'm, I'm, in, that, I'm in that situation here. right now. You, what we, do you know, but do you know what the remedy to that is? No. Showing your <laughs> other bitches. <laughs> That's what most men are scared to do. I do Show the woman they with the other bitches. Huh? She know about the mother bitches. It's frustrating. Well, she you ain't showing fight. them to her. Ain't showing them to her. If you show her the competition that she up against, <laughs> she gonna stop asking you where you go. Oh, you talking about showing her, showing her. I'm talking about showing her. Let her see the people that she is in competition <laughs> with. She gonna, she gonna get back, right? This bitch is out of here be asking you to spend the night and they ain't even got cable. Oh, some more Reggie hoes. Oh, God. This is this Reggie. That's who the fuck you fucking? Okay. Oh. Now, y'all be fucking weak ass yeah. bitches, though. Sound like we do fuck weak ass, 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 ass bitches. Like, oh, we, yeah. Weak ass bitches serve purposes. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. but showing them ain't really on. Yeah, exactly. Like, like stop playing. Like, really? Really? Your bitch who work at the bank can't jump on this other hoe for you. You need a bitch to work at Chipotle. Be like, I'll give you that for the next she two months. Don't this bitch out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too many games. Everybody need a bum ass bitch on deck. <laughs> bum ass bitch on deck. That girl? Bigger like, the better. A fighting ass thing? bitch. Yeah. You need her to we're act like the sheep dog with your husband. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, you talking about being in a relationship with a woman that like to fight? Yeah, uh, just a raggedy bitch that would you could send her off to do anything. No, that, that's you need that, a bitch that. like that. No, 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 not, but not, not, not to be not, not a chick that you're intimate, intimate with. No, you mean not fucking her. No, no, you can't. Well, see, that's one of the hardest things in the world to be around a woman and not fuck her. That's real play. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's very difficult. It Weak. takes a very, very strong man well, to be around a woman that's real and not play. fuck her. Oh. That's yeah. real play. You're speaking shit, on though. yourself, though, Corey. You're not speaking well, on other well, men. Well, it I takes mean. a very strong woman to be around niggas and not fuck them, too. I think you just have to be strong. Well, it did look very, like very you could be around a bitch and not fuck I mean, I can't. Yeah. You know, yeah. If you're a real player, you, you can do it all day. If you're a real player. Willie D well, make another love. thing about Willie, Willie D. <laughs> Let's say this about Willie D. I'm saying this because I know. Willie D, Willie D you got a lot to lose. Hmm? You got a lot to lose. You but, really don't need raggedy bitches around you. Yeah, huh? yeah. In that regard, I do have a lot to lose, but but I also have a lot, lot, lot to lose in terms of integrity. I don't fuck with just anybody. Okay. Hello. Yes. Like, you graduated to that, right? Or was you always that way? No, 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 no. I, I got better at it. You know? So, <laughs> so in, in the very be in the very beginning, you know, like I, I I always was like, if I go in a room, I'm trying to pull the baddest chick in the room, right? You know, like, and I I not I, I like to say that you know that's probably the reason I I, I didn't cheat early. Most long. bad bitches spawn right. ignorance, but go ahead. But that's true. That's true. Like so. <laughs> I come in the room looking. For, I come in the room looking for the baddest bitch, but I end up getting about the five or the six. You settle or something? Settle. What? The, what you're not gonna way. figure him out. Hey. Hey. He's making up his own <laughs> language. I, I, I think just I, I think just niche is a very attractive woman. Mm -hmm. But if we was in a relationship oh, and she cheated on me, I'd be like, you cheated. <laughs> 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 Can't believe it. I thought you would be happy. I thought you would be satisfied to have somebody you could show off. Um, see that? Yeah, see that's a big mistake. That's, that's, that's a big mistake that women show make and men make. Wait, that. what's the big mistake women make and women and men like. make the same mistake? They think that they got somebody nobody else wants. Oh, that's a major mistake mm. because that just like you wanted them at some point, somebody else wants. Your relationship mm. coach. Somebody, yeah, Somebody yeah, always want, mm -hmm. yeah. but they don't be warm. They don't fool with them the way you fool with them, though. You know what I mean? But, you, but time, that's the key word. I'm fool. smart enough to know everybody. Everybody is wanted by somebody. The bitch who played pressure's got a man. Right. Doesn't sound nice. And I can't imagine her naked with them legs up. I just can't imagine it. I, I can't imagine that girl who played Prejudice with her legs in the air. I don't know what that pussy looked like, but I don't want to see it. Well, you know, you got, I mean, you got dudes that switch, that, that skip all the way over women. So, you know. Oh, that's how well, let's talk about that, Weezy. Hello? Yeah, yeah, niggas who switch over women. Oh, I thought you said switch oh. over. No, I said, no, I said skip over women. Skip, I got, skip you got dudes over out there that skip totally over mm. women. They they don't know. Know. You know what I'm saying? Oh. 
Mm. I don't so know nothing about them niggas. Yeah. Yeah. I know about a lot of them niggas, and you just they can't believe it. Heavy. When you be around them motherfuckers. When I used to hang up in certain places in Hollywood, I used to be like, I ain't gonna never make it. Right. I used to know. I was like, this ain't even my, this ain't even my real lane up here because I see how it go and the people who have the power. It's, it's like you have to fit into that world in most situations. Mm. So, hey, it is what it is. But back on the married married people, I I, I think when you get to the point where your integrity is important to you, and trust me. If you are out here getting things done in this world, your integrity starts to come in play mentally. Right. Mm -hmm. And you start to really watch who you have around you. Can I say something? Yeah. I think if you're not living a religious lifestyle, then you nullify your marriage. What's the point of being what's the what's the point of participating in a religious ceremony to consummate yourself before God if that's not even how you live your everyday life? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like so if you're living a lie, I just feel like it's it's bullshit anyway. Right. If so it, it wouldn't bother you, right? You know, I get it. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like living by NBA rules in everyday life. You touch somebody foul, expecting somebody to call a foul. That's not a, that's only a foul if you're playing NBA basketball. Right. So if you're not religious mm -hmm. You shouldn't be worried about getting married. What's the purpose of it? If you're gonna be messing around, is what you're saying is you can, if you're, you're gonna, gonna be because you, you know why people get why married. There's a lot of religious people who ain't shit. You know exactly right. that you know, too. They they, they, they worse than a, they're worse than a lot of mm -hmm. worldly people. I mean, yep. right, right. Eighty percent of marriages are done because this is what the bitch wanted. Real spit talk. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't but a handful of niggas with the courage oh, to yeah. let they bitch go and not marry her or even not even marry her. It's women out here, they will flat out give you an ultimatum. You're gonna do it the way I want you to do it or I'm going to leave you. So what does that say about the guy then? What about like an open marriage? Niggas wait. Say that again, D. So what does that say about the guy then? If you're saying if you're saying that that's what they copped to, like they did that, they folded. Like, well, what does that say about him then? What, what did he just say? I have been around women it where I've got fold to their <laughs> shit. I have, that happened, that's but so as sad. I've gotten older, I've seen plenty of bitches go bye-bye just because yeah. I know I'm not going to do that, bitch. You ain't shit. I told them. <laughs> as you it ain't should, shit. As it should be. I <laughs> like being with you. We yeah. can grow, but it is my fucking way. They coming out with the movie. Y'all seen Carlito's <laughs> way? It's going to be my way. Well, when I, I, See, I ain't that nigga if I'm running to the train at the end of a movie and there's a running next, <laughs> nigga running next to me, I'm going to be like, hey. What that nigga? <laughs> Every time I see Carlito's way, I was like, "You didn't see that nigga running next to you?" Man. But you're the only one married over here, right? Of course. Yeah, I'm the only one. I'm the only one who's married up here, yeah. <laughs> Ain't shit. But what about open marriages? <laughs> what is an open marriage? That's, that's some bullshit. Fuck around on some fuck around. Yeah, right? what's, what's like, the point? Yeah, that's some bullshit. What's the point of having an open marriage? Open marriage. Because I want your insurance. Okay, no, I'm just playing. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a good that's reason a good to marry somebody. That is a good Why? one, right? Some people, people live in it for love anyway. Some people marry for financial security. That's true. Instead, that's of getting, what it was invented. instead of getting married, why don't we just start an LLC <laughs> and each put a certain amount of money away and if we break up, we split the bread. Why we got to do it the other way? What if you in love with a motherfucker that ain't got no money? Ooh, that's real love. Mm -hmm. uh, no, that ain't no real that love. Is that's real love. That's real struggle. But it's real love. Yeah, but you don't have to get married. Ain't no real, real love if the motherfucker ain't got no money. If the motherfucker no. ain't got no money, that ain't real love. The first time y'all have a heart. That's just that's, like, real love. That's the it's one you about. want to keep no, fucking and don't, don't want nobody no, to fuck that's them. That's the real right. effort. They don't have the same one. They don't want no broke ass. She really like you. Yeah. And she fucking with you. Everybody ain't out there. It's more broke bitches than broke niggas. It's more broke niggas crying about bitches want money and no. y'all can't even do that. Broke bitches run <laughs> so. to the government with their problems, which is why the world and the community is all fucked up. And they the don't fix the shit within. The same amount of men start keep knocking it's these women up. It's more bitches than men out here. Keep knocking these women up. Keep marrying them. So the same. What is, what is, what is they say? It's 10 to 1? I think it's 10 to 1. What's 10 to 1? It's a lot more women, women than, men. than men out here. Oh. That it means, ain't 10 to 1. <laughs> no, it's like 2 to 1. That means it's a fact. No, it's, it's more, more bust the bitches like, like than bust the niggas. It's, it's like, I don't know. Really, yeah. it's really, I think it's less than that. It's probably like 1 and a half or some. It's like 1 and a half or 2 to 1. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? it's like 1 and a half or 2 He's to 1. A, what are you talking about? What, what, what is it? I thought it was 10 to 1. It's what a lot more women than men. Depending on the country. It varies. Yeah. What is it? Depending on the country, it's like globally, though, right? It's like I don't China. know nothing about globally. I live in there's a, there's a problem. I live in the there's a problem in China. There's a problem in China where 
um, they have a cap on how many kids a family right. could have mm -hmm. in a certain economic class. And the birth weight of, of women is so much higher than men that they a lot of times find like female babies dead in the yeah, trash yeah. can. They throw them out the window. They discard the bitch. Yeah, because there's so many women. Be, women be like in more. Sparta. <laughs> they hold the bitch up in there. I'm sick of these bitches. <laughs> Throwing them out That's the window. Though. You know, in, in general, women marry men who they can live with. Right. Men marry women they can't live without. Ooh. That's why when that's, that's why deep. that's why when they go down and they break up and stuff, mm. that's why the dude be ready to Bam. kill because when they yeah. say to death do her part, that nigga standing there right there at that altar like I would kill this bitch if, <laughs> if she leaves. Yeah, yeah. They, that's what the dude is thinking. <laughs> I'm telling you, the dude be thinking like, because when a dude commit, first of all, like he was saying, 80 percent of the time it's women that's wanting to get married because dudes is like a dude get married most of the time because he don't want to lose the woman. He don't want to lose her, so and she give him that ultimatum. He gonna go ahead and succumb. He's gonna go ahead and marry her. So, but he really doesn't want to get married because he knows that really they're not they're, they're not really a great fit. So don't no nigga want to really get married. Most dudes don't, and that's because that's, mo that's because most that's because most dudes who are in the like in the marriage in, in the marriage range, they're still out there doing their thing, oh. and they don't mm -hmm. feel like. They don't feel like they, they should commit to one woman. So what time you stop And so home? the woman, what happens is that a lot of times a, a woman rushes a guy in the marriage mm -hmm. and by, by giving him that ultimatum. Mm -hmm. And so he walks down that aisle and knowing that he's not going to be faithful. And that's why, you know, it, it always they ends end up, up the way it is. Well, this is. The reason this happens is because there is no rite of passage with shit out here in America. The, the young men aren't taught what they need to know by the time they hit the streets. By the time you get out your mama house, you basically act like your mama, and you go out there and get destroyed like that bitch did. Mm. That's how it really go. If there was something like they used to do in villages in Africa back in the day, or once you get a certain age, you gotta go out here and prove you a man before you allow back in the village, mm -hmm. I think we'll be a better place, and, and all the bitches that ain't shit would not be married to people. They'll just be there for fucking. That's what they there for anyway. God put all this pussy out here for us to fuck. Yeah, <laughs> and drop them off. And give them a couple of dollars because they ain't on their feet, even though they 50. You know why a lot of marriages don't work? Because I feel like it's, it'll be hard for a woman to respect you when she sees you submit to another man's will. And in the church, we always talk about him. Go to God, go to him, he will help you. And subconsciously, a woman is looking at you like, nigga, you supposed to be the help. Mm -hmm. The fuck is you doing talking about he? Who is this magical he? I'll be like, bitch, that's God. Bitch, you better bow down to something. Right, but then they do bow down to God. So they bow down to something that they can't see or feel. Well, they bow down to this but Christian God that forgive you for everything you do. Right, <laughs> real spit. That's so, a suck ass nigga. You know, I don't care if you God. Sometimes you got to tell a bitch, bitch, I ain't fucking with you no more. <laughs> I'm about to make an unpopular statement. Go ahead, go, 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 let's go. I want to hear this, Willie. <laughs> Talking to Mike, person, we want to hear it, Willie. The person, oh, who, yeah. who, 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 the person who women bow down to more than God is their boss on their job. I agree. And this 100%. is, this, uh -huh. let me tell you, and let me explain. When that boss called and say, hey, I need you to work overtime. She work overtime. I need you to come in on Saturday. She come in on Saturday. She got to call that boss to go to her kid's game if that game is taking place while she's supposed to be working. Okay, so put yourself in, the, in that same position. You ask her to stop by the cleaners and grab your clothes for you on the way. But you can't do it. Why you can't do it? Why? No. Is he mm. gonna get that resistance? Mm. You know, she not gonna just drop what she gotta do for you. And you her man, you the one that she sleep to next to mm. every every day. Mm. 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 But she's going when that boss say do it, it's done. When you say do it, it's gonna be a problem. That's why Why is that? That's why because because women take the women I think I think that women are women protect their careers more than they protect their marriages and their relationships. I think they, I think in general, not every single woman, of course, mm. but I think in general, most women, at least the ones that I, I think know, it's because and, the, and the ones I've witnessed, most women, they, they will, I, I know women who have been laid up, will be laid up with you 
in the bed, not me, but the other guy, uh, and they'd be laid up in the bed and would get up off the dick in the middle of the night and jump on a plane for that dude who's cutting that check. If he say, I need you here, get on a plane, what you doing, where you at? Get on a plane, I need you here first thing in the morning. Mm. She gone. Yeah. Willie D. that plane, she gone. Their boss is the only one with the power to take shit from them. The right. man, and if, you, and if and that's and your and woman, she can take my from point, you. And to my point, to my point, mm -hmm. it would be a good idea if we can get back to men actually being, provide, being providers and you know, take, assuming that role, mm -hmm. reassuming that role, mm -hmm. get back to being providers and stop being something that, that, that's, that goes against nature. Like w the way men are operating today, it goes exactly against nature. It's not natural for a woman to be out being a bread maker, being a breadwinner. Hello. It's not, that's not natural. And this is why we have so much mm -hmm. chaos and we got so much confusion. Mm -hmm. It's because, and men want to still be the king of the castle and have the final word mm -hmm. when the woman is out mm -hmm. there and she's just as tired as he is when she come home. Right. He asks him for food, where my food? She's like, well, goddamn, where my food? I'm tired too. <laughs> right. You know, she mm -hmm. tired, you tired. But you know, you want... Once you yeah. get a certain age, why in the fuck are you with a woman that's doing better than you financially? <laughs> you can't control them. <laughs> well, well, I don't think women should be controlled. I think they should definitely be controlled. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't, Look I don't, at all the bitches who ain't got no control. They buy titties at 17. Yeah, but that's, their, but, but, but that's, the, guy who, that's the guy's problem who want to deal with that. Yeah. It's also you know not natural, really, for a woman to do what she want to do. I think that it, I, you, if I, she it's, said, it's not it's not it's not natural. You're no. right. It's not natural. But 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 if a woman wants to do what she wants to do, you got to let her. Right. And, and, and I'm saying that no. I'm saying that if she wants to do it, you got you have to let her do that. And if, and if what she wants to do, if you're OK with that, then y'all can vibe, y'all can work. But if you're not OK with that, you got to bounce. You got to. You're going to have problems yes. if you try to stay in the relationship. And she wants to do whatever she wants to do, and she's doing doing whatever she wants to but do. But before these laws changed, I'm talking about like in the '70s, in the '80s. What laws? Voting rights. I'm Court? saying these laws <laughs> since since OJ <laughs> since OJ <laughs> pulled that bullshit, Ooh, no. the laws changed. There was a time when you used to be able to physically <laughs> discipline your woman, oh, and when she called the police, the chief would be like, "Well, bitch, do what the fuck you supposed to be doing." <laughs> Yeah, where the, where the chief is, the chief is still doing what they they supposed to be yeah. doing or what they want to do. Police officers are, are brutal to their women. Most, yes, we yeah. know that. That's a fact. They can women. get away with that. Most That's police sure. officers are very brutal mm -hmm. toward their women. Women are afraid of police officers once they get in a relationship because they with can't women. get out of it. They can't yeah. get help. Yeah, yeah. Mo but most most cops are very brutal. But I don't believe that women should right. be controlled. I don't believe that a man should be domineering, not right. to his children, not to his woman. The only woman I, who I, shouldn't be controlled is the one you put out front. To lead, it's like all you stupid bitches need to act like us. I think you have an understanding. When you get an understanding with a person, just like your friendship, some people try to control friendships. They try to control their friends. Right. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 those are people with, those are, those, those are people with, uh, with psychological disorders. Right. I agree. You know what I'm saying? I like, don't have a lot of female friends. Yeah. I think, <laughs> yeah, but, but, I, but I think... Females I fuck with, you serve a purpose. That's why I gave you the $40. But here, but it's, I gave it to you because I like but, you. But Corey, if that, if that, my thing again is with that is that if you can find a woman that like that and that's what she appreciate, then you do your thing. Like, I don't have a problem with that because I... Are I, most women I like that? I'm not, I don't have anything to do with it. What? Are most women like that? I'm talking about simpletons. Are most women simpletons? Most? I say uh, many. <laughs> See, Willie most. is a mature, older gentleman, and he ain't going to say it like I'm saying it. But if you be for real, I'm just saying you can drop me off at any city in America. I'm going to drive to the nearest Walmart and get me a simpleton <laughs> bitch. Yeah. A bitch that's very low maintenance and everything because they, they in abundance. To find a woman that's about something is very difficult, even though most of them claim they're about something. All you got to do is, like D, you say, check the pedigree. Check their pedigree. It's just a whole bunch of dead-end situations they in. <laughs> they whole life. But isn't that it? But isn't that addictive? But then you have a choice. But it isn't isn't that indicative of of, of, of humanity? Period, bro. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? That's, that that's not that that that's that's not 
specific to women, you know, being a simpleton. It's not specific to women. But we was talking about women. That's a lot of simpleton dudes out there, but I don't fuck dudes. So I don't know. (laughs) I got Fair enough. You know what I'm saying? Fair enough. I don't know nothing about dudes other than saying what's up and when I'm around you, I watch you real good and after a while I'll be like, okay, this nigga's a nigga who seems like his head screwed on enough for me to hang with. Yeah. But yeah. I will say it is a lot of simpleton dudes yeah. and I get to fuck away from them. One day I was with this dude and he got into it with his girl and he pushed her down for real. Oh. Like he pushed her and I can't fuck with you no more, man. I can't fuck yeah. you. Don't you don't you. push bitches? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> every, bitch, every bitch I ever pushed deserved it. Damn, oh tell you that. Oh my God. Oh <laughs> Corey don't push bitches in public. And she be like, why you do that? Every bitch I push be like, you right, you right. Oh my God. You, you, know, you know what that is to me, bro? Like, 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 <laughs> I, 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 just, I just look at stuff like that, like, man, it's, it's like not being in control. Like, yeah. like, like, I, I don't want to control no a person. The only somebody I want to control is me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If I can control me, I'm gonna be all right. You know, a lot of people, you know, they, they allow other people to control them, mm-hmm. and that means that if you do this, they do this. You know, you hit that button, they go like you can't do me and like that. And that comes with wisdom, yeah. um, brother Willie, because yeah. we didn't all every man up here didn't hit a woman before. Yeah, I hit a woman story. back. It's the difference between hitting a woman and hitting a woman Wait, back. You, you always got a story. Yeah, and they're always I'm proud. I'm just saying. It's yeah. a, when you hit a woman so you back, always you know, hit second. Do you know where that comes from? That's self-defense. Hitting a woman back is self-defense. I don't think, I think he's... Hitting Wait, a woman I first is abuse. Where, where it come from? Where it come from? You know where a lot of that come from? What? Y'all ain't gonna like this, women, but I'm gonna tell the truth. <laughs> I wanna hear this shit. A lot of uh, a, a men uh, were raised by... Their mothers, and you know when you're raised by a single parent, a mother, you know oftentimes you know she carrying on a lot of weight. It's a lot of burden, and oftentimes the women are abusive. Well, when they beating on you, you you're a boy. They beating on you. You taught to not hit women, not hit your mother, right? But your mother also tell you if anybody else put their hands on you, you send them to God, mm-hmm. right? And that's all you know. You, uh, an abusive mother is not going to tell you you don't fight women. An abusive mother just whoop your ass and don't give you no instructions, you know? Mm-hmm. And so when you go out into the world, you don't think, you don't, you, she don't tell you that you're not going to get the breaks that she gets. Like society will give a, an abusive woman breaks. Like a woman can go up and down the street and cuss and fuss and fight and all that kind of stuff. Nobody's going to kill her more than likely. She, she may not get mm-hmm. killed. But if you do it as a boy, by the time you're 14, 15 years old, they'll put a bullet in your head. They'll kill you. Right. And they don't tell you as a black, young black male that you will get killed putting your hands on people. And so we go out into the world and, you know, we get girlfriends and stuff like that. And then when, we, when she don't act the way we want her to act, we put our hands on her. And that is because for a long time, you know, like it's subconsciously, we couldn't put our hands on our mother. So subconsciously, we're thinking anybody else put their hands on me, I'm not, I'm going to send them to God. Mm. And that, that's anybody. Anybody don't behave, anybody don't do what we want them to do, we swing on them. And so I think that, that take, it takes a man to raise a man, and a lot of us were raised by women. Mm. And so that's why a lot of us, we get emotional. You know, we handle situations emotionally. Emotional. Like even, even the conflict, some of us are killers, and we think it takes a man to be a killer. Yeah. Well, a five-year-old can be a killer. That, being a killer is nothing. You know, a five-year-old. A five-year-old. I, there are five. Go look it up. There's five-year-olds have pulled triggers and killed people. Not not going out saying what that nigga. Had. I ain't saying like <laughs> right. that. Yeah. But in the house, they kill somebody. It's an accident. Boom, somebody got killed. Mm-hmm. So, and, and and you know, there's been many twelve-year-olds and thirteen-year-olds who have been killers, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it don't take a man to be a killer. You know, uh, it take a man to, to understand conflict resolution and be able to control his emotions. See, because I can see a lot of dudes, like I see a lot of things happening in front of me, and I can tell you when I see dudes moving a certain way, I can tell who ain't going to make it. Mm-hmm. And I can tell also that if I ever had a problem with one of them, how easy it would be to get them because they're loud, first and foremost, they're loud. You know, most of the people that we're walking on right now, that, that are dead, uh, that got murdered, 
that was a that was some type of uh, verbal uh, altercation that ensued before they were killed. Mm-hmm. Whether, it, whether it happened just before they got killed or a week or a month before. This is why I try my best to avoid arguing. Mm-hmm. I don't do that shit. Because I always think, what's the worst thing that could happen? And you can't control what another person emo- is going to do. Yeah. You can only control what you're going to do. You don't know what the other guy's going to do. <clears throat> That's why when dudes get ready to go out to the club, they're drinking, they're ready to ride, they got their homies, they got their they strap, they go to the club, and they're thinking, man, we're going to ride on anybody get out of line. We're going to ride on their asses, right? They know that part, but they're not thinking what the other dudes mm-hmm. are thinking and what they may do. Mm-hmm. If they were, they'd be like, okay, okay, before I go out there tonight, you know, I know we're going to do what we normally do, but tonight is going to be different because tonight I'm going to get killed. So look here, little Ray, you can have my car. Look here, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Uh, uh, you know, and you know what's so fucked have, up about you what you're saying? Yeah. I think about that when it comes to white people. Yeah. Whenever white people are not scared of me, I'll be like, hey, something is wrong. <laughs> this is the police. <laughs> <laughs> and why this motherfucker ain't scared? I just said I'll beat your ass. And he was like, come on. Yeah. Hey, that you, but you gotta, but you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with anybody that's, that's, that has audacity when they shouldn't. Well, you, you got to be careful with telling people what you're going to do because oh, I know that's a sign of weakness. Whenever you say what you're going to do, that's your way of hoping it happened. Oh, yeah. In most situations, that's, that's, that's a motherfucker who hoping it happened like that. You ain't supposed to tell people what you can do because if you tell people what you're going to do, they can actually beat the case against you. Especially if you say, oh, fuck you up. Well, they can actually kill you. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. that's yeah. what I'm saying. Kill you before yeah. you can ever get to the court. But that that comes That's with true. watching shit happen as you get older. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? True saying, true you know, story. motherfucker, you don't tell no motherfucker I'll beat your ass if you for real. Right. You just motherfucker, do what you gonna do. Well, I, that, I mean, because the idea is if you have an enemy, you know, the element of surprise, everybody knows that anybody that's ever been in battle knows that the element of surprise gives you the greatest advantage. Mm-hmm. So you never announce, like you never go, okay, look. Unfortunately, I'm a lot of people ready, don't know that, Willie. I'm getting ready to reach for my gun. <laughs> right. Here it comes. Right. Like, you down. So I, I personally like to have the advantage anytime I have any type of conflict. I want the advantage. You know how sometimes, you know, you see people out in the streets or whatever, and, and you may be in a club, or you might even be at home or something, and somebody, and somebody is drunk, and they tripping, and somebody, oh, man, leave him alone, man, he drunk. Nah, nigga, that's yeah. when I want him. I want this motherfucker drunk. I want him high out of his mind because I, I don't want him to be straight. I don't want him to be thinking lucid. I want to get him off guard, catch him at his weakness so I can bend his ass over. <laughs> That's what I want to do. I want to do him really, really bad. I want to win. I wanna, I, I'm the dude that wants the advantage all the time. If, if we're on the basketball court and we're playing three on three, I'm going to pick the most dominant motherfuckers on the court. I want to win all the games. I ain't trying to play fair. I like to play with the women so you can lean on them. <laughs> okay. I just put that out there. I just put that out there. But I, I want to win. Time, I want the it? advantage. We'll we'll go all day with this. Uh, we got a part of the show that we got to interrupt a good part of the show for. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Darlene's lose talk about bullshit. bullshit. Do you got Aisha Curry in your shit? No. Cause that bitch be busting down for the game, nigga. No, but you all you always like to talk about that couple. Boy, I tell you right now. Yeah, right? I do. And I the kids. Do. Let's just say the whole I family. I never said nothing about. Well, I said something yes, about the have. little girl. The little girl. Uh-huh. All right. Anyway, so had, speaking uh, of divorce, that was a good segue because we were talking about marriage and divorce, all that. Anyway, on the divorce side of the game this week, of course, Kim and Kanye. Yes, it's official. Kim mm-hmm. filed for divorce last week. Sources claim that the marriage, of course, started to go south. You know when, what they uh, said, right? What? She got tired of shitty dick. Go ahead. Oh, God. <laughs> Started to go south when Kanye, who was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, had his many public meltdowns, and that, and it really went downward. Um, when I he almost killed my daughter. No, I'm just fucking with When he put his bid in to run for president, um, they say that sources close to them say that was the last straw, and she had just been really contemplating and kind of... Uh, getting ready for it. Making nut and having to play it off in front of him. Oh, no. They've been married since 2014, and they have four children. Um, 
And after six years of marriage, another um, divorce uh, in the process is rapper Exhibit and his wife um, are heading for divorce after she filed yesterday. They have a 10 year old son together and they sadly lost their other um, son when he was just 11 days um, old. So they would have had two children, but. Man, divorce is in the air. It is, it is. This, mm -hmm. People ain't surviving COVID even if they survive COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, bitch, I'm tired of you coughing. Oh, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Did you sneeze, bitch? <laughs> so Get out of my house. <laughs> On another note, uh, totally different. This is uh, February 23rd. is the one-year anniversary of Ahmaud Arbery's murder, not death. Or people all go, oh, he passed away. No, he was murdered. Um, uh, this is the one-year anniversary today. Uh, his mother, Wanda Cooper, just filed a multi-million dollar civil lawsuit today as well. A recap of the tragic killing in case, for some reason, you've been under a rock somewhere for a year. Um, Ahmad was shot three times at close range by a white father and son while he was out jogging in Glen County, Georgia. Also, the third man who filmed it was also arrested. The killers claimed that they thought 25-year-old Ahmad was responsible for some recent burglaries in their neighborhood. Anyway, all three men are still facing murder charges for his death. And according to the court documents that his mother just filed, she's seeking damages from all the men involved, as well as various law enforcement officers and the local district attorney whom the lawsuit says acted in a way that protected the three men by attempting to cover up the incident. So it's a pretty large lawsuit. Yeah. Even though they, they say lawsuit, even though they say arrest, all that shit, what them white motherfuckers at? They had the crib, ain't they? No, those no. guys didn't get out. They're still in there. They're still in jail? Yeah, but they're going to fight the case. It hasn't come up yet. They're going to go to court. But they okay. were out of jail for a while. I was going to say, no, yeah. but hold on. I, so, Darlene, you know that the white people that murdered their guys. brother are still in jail? Yeah, they're waiting, awaiting trial. <laughs> Oh, they must be they some broke ass that, that third guy, the, yeah, the third guy that was filming it, it took a while for them to get him in there because he was trying to like play on that role where he didn't have anything to do with it. It took him like what a month or so, two months, before they got him. So yeah, but yeah, they're they all three in up for uh, for that charge. Yeah, they got so. them plenty of time to get their affairs in order beforehand anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they was they did it. Didn't go to jail until like five six months later, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, moving on real quick, um, uh, another pretty a wild case in court that's definitely gone viral is of a North Carolina woman named Marie Holmes, who back in 2015, if you never heard of her, it was pretty interesting. She won a $188 million Powerball jackpot, young black sister. She is now being sued by her ex-fiance, Lamar McDowell. You heard about this one? Oh, she, no. oh girl, she won $188 million. She's now being sued by her ex-fiance, Lamar McDowell. Now, Ms. Holmes uh, first created headlines in the news, not only from winning that major jackpot, but also when the public found out that she was using some of her lottery winnings to post bail multiple times for Mr. McDowell. Thanks. According to public records, she spent more than at the time. Now it's been more since then. Uh, 600000 on his bail bonds alone. Ooh. No, it's 20, like 20 million. It, it's up now. They, yeah, yeah, it actually, um, you're what right. What is that nigga doing? Um, no, that? no, no, but they're, they're done with. So they broke up while he was locked up. They broke up. Um... You yeah. mean she was getting fucked while he was locked well, up? Well, he found out that she was seeing somebody, uh, and somebody else. that's that else. state where you can sue motherfuckers who, like, that's that state where old girl, the singer, um... Fantasia. Fantasia got sued for By fucking somebody's husband. Mm -hmm. Oh, she told her boy. Yeah. You can, some some states lady. you can sue people for fucking your and he um, partner. Her, so she oh, yeah, she got a baby. Uh -huh. That's so an today, unlawful six business years practice, for sure. Whatever. I said that's an unlawful business practice. A marriage is a business. So practice. today right. they weren't married. Fucking people they weren't like married. It. They weren't okay. married. The, right. This couple, this girl, no, they weren't married. They just okay. had they had a kid together. So today, six years later and after, she chose to take the. This is when back when it happened. She chose to take the lump sum payment, which comes to 127 million, ended up being 88 million after taxes. So that's what she walked away with. Anyway, it appears that things have soured quite a bit because now he's filed a federal lawsuit against her. He's still locked up. He gets out in 2023, but he wants his, his paper. <laughs> he, the story is very fascinating. I mean, there's, there's so much more than this. If you want to look up all the details, it's so interesting. And again, back then when it was happening, before well, they got... What is his basis of suing her? Because he, what happened he, was she he, got rid she of... Gave, she gave all of his stuff away to the other guy. 
or yeah, the all the stuff is gone. The business the jewelry, she opened up for him. Everything's closed. Yeah, Dick is found. Gave gone. it to somebody else. To the to the new. And back in that, and back in those years, yeah, between really, between the year that she won and friends. the year that he went under, which was 2017, because he was out for like two years, she was giving him. And he even admits she was very generous. She gave him a lot of papers to help him start a business. Did yeah. all that. They were even on uh, a Yanla. If you want to look at the old ones, a Yanla Van Zant's Fix My Life. They were even on there because she was like coming at. She very very sweet. A girl has a future. She ain't sweet. She was fucking somebody else while her man locked up. Oh, stop. They went, but anyway, thank you. But anyway, no, if you look up the story. You're supposed to keep that pussy on ice till the nigga get out. <laughs> it's very interesting. But anyway, so he's. he's Fuck you fucking other people. But wait a second. You so, said this my pussy when I was fucking. So not only is he <laughs> suing her. So he's suing her because he wants his paper before he gets released in 2023. But she's been going through a lot of problems. But one of the biggest ones besides this guy is that she's even being sued by for 10 million by her pastor Damn. he claims that she reneged on she reneged on a verbal promise and he uh, claims that he's experienced emotional and mental distress due to her backing out i ain't gonna lie if i had paper like that i'll be putting hits on motherfuckers really for real. Yeah. niggas will be missing for real. Yeah, man. niggas now, will be missing and, you think i'm gonna be worried about your motherfucker <laughs> Well, you playing with me like this? She's, en know. she's encountered bullshit like that, as well as many other things that you can imagine. Now, just FYI, verbal agreements and oral contracts, if, you're, if you were thinking about it, are generally, they're pretty valid. DM, they're actually, if you look at them, they're valid. Messages. Right. Um, legally, they are legally binding as long as they are reasonably equitable, uh, conscionable, and made in good faith. But what if, if you, you got a text of a girl saying, this yo pussy, That's written. and she start fucking with somebody else? Is that binding? You should no. check it out. You it's your pussy, his pussy too. His pussy. No, I don't get nothing to him for her saying this is his pussy too. This bitch lied to him. I got the text first. How did they prove she the verbal had, contract? She had her fingers crossed behind her back. How did they prove the verbal contract? She had her fingers had crossed her fingers behind crossed. your back. That's yes, funny. it's all you, boo. Uh, how do you sign a verbal contract? How do they prove contract? the verbal contract? You don't. No, but no, no, no. You can't. Buy everything. They, they, that's what they said. But what I'm saying, that's what they said. Text. What binds you to a contract is your signature. You got to watch what you text people. You I do. always text girls. I be like, Voice man, messages. you was the best bitch I had today. So just, <laughs> so just watch out, guys. <laughs> Speaking of marriage, last thing, um, new show to check out in case you're interested. It's a four-part docuseries called Black Love. It highlights love stories from the black community and answers the questions, what does it take to make a marriage work? From their perspective, of course, the couples that are featured have been married anywhere from one to 70 years and are from all walks of life. Black Love pulls back the curtain on how love begins and the reality of life, lifelong love, offering proof that it can happen for anyone, but that it is not easy. Some, and there's, there's a lot of couples, not just um, celebrity couples, but some of the celebrity couples include Chris Spencer and his wife, Vanessa, mm -hmm. actress Megan Good and her husband, mm -hmm. Pastor mm -hmm. Devon Franklin, which I know, they're so sweet, actress Viola Davis and her husband, Julius Tennant, mm -hmm. and more that are not, like I said, just famous folks. So, so you're saying Viola Davis. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it alone. Yeah, please do. Please don't talk about it. Yeah, don't talk about it. But anyway, it's, a, it's on Hulu, guys, if you want to check it out, called Black Love. Yep. Your boy produces that. Oh. Yeah, it's a couple. What's the, What's the movie the, producer you real cool with? I yeah, don't that know. you like. Yeah, his the and black, his wife. The black dude, movie producer. You said it. Packer. Will Packer. Will Packer. Yeah. He I love Will Packer. Yeah. He gave me opportunities yeah. in this game. Thank you, Will yeah, Packer. Will Packer. But I can dope. see him making something like that. Like but that. bottom yeah. line, black love doesn't have a chance to live because, goddammit, white courts determine what happened with black love. Oh. <laughs> Only when black love puts it, put white You don't have in to be business. in court, though. Boom. And you know how that don't happen? You got a motherfucker know how to pick a bitch that's really down with you. Mm -hmm. How you do that? Well, you know, well, well, well I'll tell you how to you do it. You don't know. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. One of the things that, 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 that a man have to do is, like, when you picking a woman, pick a woman that has something to lose and have some pride about herself. Mm. If, you, if, you, if you pick a woman that's loud, you know, that, that's already you starting off on the wrong foot. If she loud, if she's aggressive, really aggressive, you're starting off on the wrong foot. You mean like verbally loud, right? Not musty. <laughs> <laughs> verbally loud and musty. I like if she, musty. If she musty, then it's a problem too. It's gonna be a problem. I'm a pervert. But, 
Cause, cause, cause a, a woman's hygiene, you know, is like everything to a social. Some her, women got low her gene. hygiene is all. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah. Low gene. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, <laughs> bitch, bed smell like hooper shorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now look, we gonna take a quick break and come back with the little pussy ass song, motherfucker. We got motherfucker Willie D, Just Nisha in the house, motherfucker. Fifty one fifty. Be right back. Man, I, I got the pitch. Hurry up. Everybody be alive.
Shit popped in my eye. <laughs> hey, what up, y'all? We back in this motherfucker during the break. I'm over here listening to Craig and Willie D talking about when Willie D had to fight with um Melly Mel. Melly Mel. Melly Mel in the yeah. motherfucking house. That shit was interesting. Willie D was talking about, you know, he didn't really want the fight to go that fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I was, I was really wanted to go like second round. It was yeah. a boxing match, mm -hmm. all because you know what. I don't realize, like, see, Willie D, by me growing up on your music, I forget some of the people that I have around me. I am that much older than them. I forget. My young brothers over there, they were just trying to make sure. They was like, Willie D? I was like, yeah, for the ghetto boys. They was like. <laughs> yeah, see? Uh -huh. We older than these motherfuckers, man. I be forgetting. As we should if we were born before them. Yeah, yeah. God <laughs> damn. We should be older than them. God <laughs> damn. That shit got me fucked up. I, I, why, why are you fucked up? I can't believe I'm this old. No. And he's not even that old. You know what, man? Of course. You know what? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm ancient. <laughs> People used to tell me yeah. like, I, I, that I wouldn't live to be 18 years old. Yeah. <laughs> you ever heard it? Did they ever tell you that? Well, I hear shit like that. You make it out. Once you um a certain age as a black man, you're supposed to kiss the ground for making it that long or some shit yeah. like that. Well, they used to tell me I wasn't going to live to be 18. And I mean, I gave them every reason to believe this shit. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, because I was out there for real. I was doing it for real. I, I was like... Mm -hmm. I had a number one record on the charts and couldn't wait to get to Houston, get back to Houston and do a drive by. Wow! You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I was, I was that, mm -hmm. you know. So, but, but, uh, I mean, that, that's, that's. So wait, I can't, I can't help it, Willie. I ain't yeah. trying to put you on the spot because yeah. you my nigga. You used to do drive bys and listen to bitches. I can't understand. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's why this, this is this is why you know this is why I'm also the gangster of love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like multi I'm the gangster right? of love, and 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 the, the gangster of love, which is not to be confused with simping. You know, because if if you like, some sometimes dudes will hear me talk, and they and they hear me talk about women, like and how to treat women, how a man should treat a woman. Uh, and, and, and first thing coming, man, he's sipping, he's sipping. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 grasshopper. <laughs> there is, I guarantee you, you can, you could scour this earth and you would not find one woman that I've ever been with will, will call me a simp. I'm far from that. I just understand that a man doesn't have to be domineering and aggressive and abusive 
to have respect for you know, from a woman, you know, and to be with a woman. You don't have to be all of that shit. And when you are like that, it is a sign that you are out of control. You don't have control of your emotions. What you got to be, Willie D? I, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. What I have say? been exaggerating be it a little bit. I have, have listened to, to bitches. This nigga. I know I've listened to bitches, but the only thing to be fucked up is when they say this. This is the worst thing a bitch could ever say to me. What I just say? I'd be like, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Going off Willie D logic, how do Corey Holcomb get bitches? Because you speak everything up. Because bitches are easy. <laughs> I mean, Corey can do only, only Corey can tell you that. What right, they don't want? No. They can't want you and want Corey. That's just not. Yes, they do. Yes, they, they can. can. Oh, yes, they can. Not Willie D. You know why? Because Hell because not. because because women women desires change like all the time. Who gonna do that? What they what they won't change is all the time. Like th th this is this is why like a dude this is why a dude who who is broke can end up being in a relationship with a woman who's dated nothing but millionaires. Mm -hmm. This dude is a handyman, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and he and he still was able to slide in and get the action from this chick, who who and most people by most people's definition thinks that she's out of his league. Mm -hmm. But a, a woman's desires change. Damn near daily. But it's a respect thing, because you call women women, you know. Or call these Man, you bitches. call bitches bitches, and you still <laughs> fuck them. Yeah. After you nut, yeah, you be like, get me a rag, bitch. <laughs> I just think it's two different things. You think, um, some, you think a man respects you more if women. he don't call you a bitch? Huh? <laughs> Say that again, Greg. You think a man respects you more because he no, don't call you a bitch? No, but I think that oh. I don't want to be called a bitch. So I think that I would probably navigate to a, a Willie D type yeah. than a Corey Holcomb yeah. in his vest yeah. type. That's yeah. conflicted in this cell. The vest does not help. I don't even understand why he wore that today. The vest does not help. And got the audacity to talk the way he <laughs> But is it my fault? Is it my is it my fault or is it your fault for doing things that would make me call you a bitch? I me personally, I don't know, because I don't get into a nigga so I ain't never really made no nigga call me a bitch, but I did make a nigga slap me. But that was different. Well, here's the thing. So you think calling a bitch is 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 worse than being slapped? I'm just thinking he treats women way better than you. That's all I'm saying. Sounds Willie D. Mm -hmm. He like a mo like a Russell Wilson type, and you more like oh, future. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's not him. I'm so not he gonna take care of the baby. Corey no, gonna make it. No, I'm just okay. talking about <laughs> Corey. Just be really like me and Willie D. Uh, have different techniques. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I, I promise you, bitches are bitches everywhere you they go. They probably going, okay, I get it. But they all going to go. I just think different women will go for Willie. Especially a nigga like me, because I got some bitches, I'm Trying talking about the average the underachieving <laughs> bitch, ain't got a hundred dollars to pass up. But I don't even <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you don't uh, like me, bitch, but yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I know you don't like me, bitch. I don't like you either. <laughs> well, I mean, whatever works for you, but. The bitches that like me, goddammit, I mean, I'm saying they don't ever give me pussy. It'd be the bitches that don't like me, think they can change me. I, I, okay, okay, I'm going to give y'all some game. I'm going to uh -oh. give y'all some game. I don't. I don't curse women when I, like, I don't curse with women. Like and another that. thing about Willie D, like it's it. difficult, I have to catch myself when I'm around him because he don't respond to that N-word no more. He don't like niggas calling him niggas. Mm -hmm. He don't, he, he, I they, mean, like, they, he don't they, check, they, he don't be checking you right away, but it's just like, am I wrong? You don't like that type of conversation I, when I, a nigga's stepping to you. I don't think, but think, think about the word though, bro. Like, you know, when when you use nigga nigga that that word could be could could be an insult or it could be a term of endearment or whatever it it runs the gamut. But if I call you king, that's all praise. But it, it's only, and it calms a nigga that's, down that's, too. And it calms you down. And when I, think about it, you call me. Unless I call him lying. Like, like I get on the phone. He be lying. You know how I do. When I call you, you answer the phone. I say, "What's up, king?" You know what I'm saying? It 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 it, ele it, ele it, ele it elevates your spirit. What's up, nigga? That can go anywhere. That's, that's right. whatever. You know. I and, and you that's know what? And I agree right with there, you. And 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 don't you see how when I talk to you, yeah. I I always try to show you respect because you've always shown me respect. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like when you first meet a nigga, you be watching him. You be waiting on the bullshit. You be like the bullshit coming. 
The man ain't never did no motherfucking backhand that whole shit since I known him. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about like, I'll wait on it. I'll be like, the bullshit coming. I ain't caught my nigga doing no shit. He is who he say he is. Mm -hmm. But women who fall for him uh -oh. are victims, if you ask me. Uh -oh. Because wait, what? this Hold nigga on. will kill you, yeah. bitch. I ain't gonna do that but we'll cuss you out and tell you to get your funk ass off. No, Willie. You please. want a nigga that did drive by, bitch? Don't get that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> tell it. But I on a grand scheme say, of shut things, shut your funk ass up and get out of my car. On the grand scheme of things, if we are talking about women being some Mr. Lee, like I would much, it would be a different relationship if I was with Willie. Than Corey, clearly. How you know? Because this nigga is a little more kingly, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kingly. If I just want to be a ratchet bitch, cussing out my nigga all day. Do you yeah, see what's what happening up here? There are so many but women on the I ratchet side of the game. Who bitches just will want fall in line though. Dude. Fucking with Willie, a, a bitch will fall in line. Fuck with you, a bitch gonna do a line. But bitches, <laughs> you oh. is grabbing oh. bitches. That was good. That was crazy. That was That's crazy. Oh, fuck that. Shit. Let me tell y'all something. Oh. Oh. Bar from Just me is right. working with me. And Desmond's Iowa this weekend. Right, yeah. Just me ain't no motherfucking bust Bars. ass. It's a lot of bust ass female yeah. comics. Just needs be having some funny ass jokes. So that was good, Nisha. I give you that. Right? that but cool. I don't think he'll fuck you. I'm just keeping it real, like. Oh, <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh. Look at Willie. Blushing. They're blushing. <laughs> Corey doing all this in this shirt vest combo. But I'm just saying, Willie D is just a little more, you know. Uh -huh. you know I, I, a, bitch, I guess, a bitch is straight you know, up fucking but, with but, Willie but, D. And, but, and here's the thing, though. He like, out of town and ain't gonna fuck. But, but, this, this, <laughs> but, this, but this is what I'm. But here, here's the thing, though, man. Like, like, like when it when it comes when it comes to uh, the like. You know, like every 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 relationship that you have in life is based off effective communication, right? Mm -hmm. It comes down to effect whether it be platonic relationship, an intimate relationship, a business relationship, mm -hmm. family. All of it comes down to effective communication. Like when there's a fallout, what what's at, what's at the root of it? Ineffective communication, the lack of communication. But when you have effective communication, you know. Effective communication is rooted in respect. So if everything start, if you start off with respect, then you get a lot further, you know, in your relationships. And so I really don't fuck with people that I can't respect. That's you see, because I already know it's gonna bring out a side of me that I don't want to see. Right. And I know that I gotta, I gotta fucking switch in my head, and I don't know when it's gonna go. <laughs> you know, I don't know. That's so, why I want you to get with him. So, so I don't want to. So I, want I try to get stomped out. <laughs> so I try. Get stomped. So, so Niggas still, like that. I ain't trying to diss you, my nigga. I know you ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? I still nigga will beat that. your ass, bitch. As soon as you pull that shit, goddamn it, coming the house late and I'm being out. Like but like she, saying, she, like she was saying, like really she was saying, no. she would I'm switch up. Right. It's a difference. But really, no, no, she thinks. But you, she think you believe it. No, man. no, no, no. You, but you, but Corey, you, you teach people how to treat you. Bro. Uh. You teach people what? You teach people how to treat you. Ooh. There you go. You know, no, 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 it's, no, no. it's about, okay. it's about, it's, and, and what I mean by that is that it's like what you accept is what you gonna get. If you accept Hello. Hello. that one time, if you accept it one time, then that's the way they gonna treat you. Yeah. This is yeah. why. This is why I make it. A, I made it a point, like. If somebody is like disrespectful, it's important that they're not disrespectful the second time. Mm -hmm. Because if you let them get away with it once, it's only going to embolden them to do it again. Mm -hmm. But so they you go, go so you do get, it again. So you get it? No, 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 no. You don't think so? Well, maybe, maybe you, maybe at this and, point and, in your and, life. And, 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 and listen, listen. When you lean, you lean the right way. You know, like when you lean, you, it's, it's, it's simple, man. Like, Some people might be missing you when you say lean. You know, like I'm just saying, man. Yeah, like, you know, like in a in a world of self snitching, I ain't finna do all that. But I'm just saying, right. it's a way to to effectively communicate to a person. You don't oh, want brother. to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Respect is imaginary. This is the only thing that people that. will adhere to. 
<laughs> this shit right here. And I'm not gonna beat no bitch up. I'm just gonna leave her somewhere. <laughs> I love flying bitches to Florida well, and leaving them out. <laughs> well, you know what? That's a, let me tell you something. That right there, that right there is a bad idea. And this, and this is why. Thank you. you know, I was, I was, uh, I was, I was, I went to New York. Like back, like a while back with with some friends, we went to the Roy Jones fight in New York at Ma at Madison Square, and I took this girl who had never been to and, New York. Uh oh. And I just met her. Bad idea, bro. Just, it's all part of growing up. Oh man, yeah. And I was young, y'all. I flew a bitch in from Florida who had the best body in the world. Pussy was dried and pie crust. Oh. <laughs> I called the airline. I said, y'all got to go half on this ticket, man. <laughs> this ain't even fair. Let me, let, me, let me finish my point, fam, because yeah, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, you, all, all I don't want nobody baby. out there to get in trouble out there, right? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you are with a woman and you take that woman somewhere, <laughs> it, it is... It is your duty, your duty as a man, as a responsible person, to get that woman back safely. You know, no matter what happened in the interim, if y'all fall out or whatever, fuck all that. You're gonna have to suck it up, buttercup, and get that woman back to, to safety. Because if something happens in between that time, she gonna blame you and everybody else gonna blame you. Oh, you and let me it. tell you something. You don't, you, don't you do not want to you do not want to deal with a scorned woman. Mm. And you do, do a woman like that. <laughs> well that's why your ass He's, be having problems. But what is she what is she gonna leave? What is she what is she gonna do, leave with her? All you gotta do is put pills in the bitch purse and call the cops on y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you can leave the bitch. Bitch, you a bitch, drug addict. Bitch, I ain't listen, 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 family. That's listen, that kind family. of drama. Listen, family, I'm gonna tell you this because I love you for real. I can sit up here in front all day long and act hard and shit. That ain't what's real. I'm telling you, straight up. If you take a woman on a date, if you take her out of town or whatever, y'all fall out. You listen, shit ain't working out the way you want it to work out. Get that woman back to safety, and then you ain't got to never talk to her the rest of your life. Mm. What get is, her back to safety. What if she basically use you for a plane ticket? It don't she matter. went to go see a nigga. It don't matter. That's part time. of the game. They're just going to use you, they, dog. They, they seen you without that hat that, on. That's, that's, <laughs> 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 hey, listen. They gonna use we, use you cause that you gotta, ass best. You, you gotta, gotta take, you gotta take your bitter. Mind, you take your bitter with your sweet. <laughs> yeah. You take your bitter with your sweet. That's part of being a man. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. They seen your Mar Marvin Hagler face. Hey, ass, <laughs> now he giving you game though. What he what Willie is saying is, you actually it's illegal to take a bitch somewhere and leave her out there. It's illegal. You have to be slick like me to pull oh. that off. I done left bitches everywhere. <laughs> I left a bitch at Six Flags. A lot of people heard the story. Oh, this yeah. Bitch was yeah talking told to this nigga too uh -huh. long. I, and I'm sitting there with a big ass left. Donald Duck bear in my hand, and this bitch <laughs> talking to this nigga 20 minutes about some Q Dog shit or whatever they did. <laughs> hey, I'm finna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. He ain't left. <laughs> <laughs> he went and got it. He went and got his funnel cake. We didn't all get played. We didn't all get played by bitches, nigga. It take, Don't nobody act like they ain't never got played. <laughs> True story. It take it take a it take a lot to swallow your pride and just you know do that. It take mm -hmm. a lot to swallow your pride and do it. But the secret is to win. That's life. And in, in, in life, the secret is to win. So you I'll want give you, you always want your you always want your your actions. To, to be uh, consistent with the outcome that you want. Right. A lot of people want a certain mm -hmm. outcome in life, but their actions are uh, something totally different. Mm -hmm. So if whatever outcome that you want in life, you, your, act, your actions have to be reflective of the outcome that you outcome. want. But yeah. sometimes we That's deep, though. What he said that you <laughs> If people need to know that. Y'all talking about, look, you talk about my cousin. Look, 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 look Corey is a, a successful comedian, right? And 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 he 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 worked he worked his ass oh, off to God. get the way he is right, so but he did it through work. He right. did he didn't just he didn't just he didn't just wake up and say you know he no nah, he, he didn't just wake up he didn't just wake up and say you know I want to be on top I want to have this show where I got you know millions of people following me and shit and commenting on my shit. Mm -hmm. He didn't just wake up and do that shit. He put the work in, and 
Every time I come here, I have, he haven't missed a Tuesday. Anytime I come here and, I, and I'm in LA, I hit him up, he here. And it's dudes that ain't even nowhere near his, his level that won't do that. Right. They won't put the work in. Right. So your, work, so, so your actions have to be consistent with the outcome that you want. That's life. I agree. That's true. They never be the flowers while you're alive. This guy. See, it's funny what I fuck with Willie D. Because, see, Willie D is really, (laughs) Willie D is a naturally serious type of person. And I've I've witnessed that about him. But it wasn't a while he had to give in and laugh because yeah. I be doing some crazy shit. <laughs> Willie D, one day, I, I, I watched my nigga because, you know what I'm saying, I love my nigga. We was in Houston and he was taking me to his restaurant out there. And when I was watching him walk, I was laughing so hard. This nigga walk hard. This nigga, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is loco. It's just, you know what I'm saying, you in an environment where, you know what I'm saying, it's like, it, it works with me and this brother because... I believe his head is screwed on right. Mm. And a lot of people never get it together. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I salute you. That's I know right. I know, Willie. I I I've watched you, my nigga. The shit you have the stories you give me, I know you ain't just making this shit up. The shit when you say you went to the nigga who had your money from the record company house. Mm. Back when niggas used to be able to get on planes with guns and shit. You know what I'm saying? Was that the eighties? Oh yeah. I know you were lying, my nigga. I know. I'll be like, this nigga is really low down. But he a good nigga. He a good nigga. And gullible girl, like just niche, you think this nigga sweet. But the thing is, about your ways will get yeah. you stoked out. Look, y'all probably Fuck with me. Y'all might be on the same bullshit, but. I ain't seen him on bullshit. I ain't never seen him on no bullshit. Saying. But I, I see you on bullshit. Yeah. And I know what'll happen if you fuck we with a nigga that's serious me. and about his no. life like that. No, I get in line when I'm supposed to. You need to fuck with people like me so you can be safe. No, we talk. Oh, God. <laughs> we not. I need to be with somebody like Willie D. Yeah. No, he's. I would like to get my he, steps No, up. don't yes. fuck with different. I'm telling you, you're not ready. Oh, oh, Stay with the losers I'm you can fuck with. Oh, oh. I'm worthy of Willie D. No, I want to be Keep a looking for your baby daddy and shit. And Willie D got her baby. Willie D's going to expect man. excellence out of you. And I ain't never yeah. seen that in a relationship <laughs> when it comes to you. You have never seen me in a relationship. <laughs> Come on. Just these, we homies, we comics, we fucked up in the head. <laughs> Remember we was in Memphis? I think Willie did get me right. We was in Memphis and you had your little boyfriend with you. That was so cute. But I was like, they made for each other. <laughs> Both of y'all was over there getting fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like, they perfect for each other. <laughs> It was New Willie Year's. Willie D gonna be like, hey, 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 don't, don't drink no more. You better just stand it up. <laughs> you gonna be like, who is that? And Willie D gonna have a flashback. And he go. <laughs> say, man. Uh, say, say, you know what, man? Boy, look here, man. Your, 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 your viewers are fucking getting a treat, boy. They, they, they're the real winners tonight. Yep. No, I'm talking time. about, damn, man. Damn. Even uh, the haters. I want y'all to come with y'all oh, man. and talk shit. Uh-huh. Niggas go talk shit. Hey, get your money, nigga, with your 40 follower having there. Man, this is, the, this, 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 this is the best show on the internet Tuesday night. There you go. Thank ain't, you, ain't, you, ain't nobody fucking with yeah. the choreo. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Ain't nobody fucking sure. with the 5150. Do we even remember the song we thought of? <laughs> nah, I don't have no idea what the fuck. I think we should leave it alone. Yeah. What you think? Yeah, we are fuck it up. I've been yeah. drinking too, goddammit. Oh, no. I thought Listening was Listening to Just Niche bullshit. You don't want to be saved. <laughs> <laughs> Stop acting like you want to change who you, you know, are. I'm getting old, boy. I'm getting old. You don't want to be saved. <laughs> I'm getting old. In 20 more years, I'll be your age. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. No, there it is. You're not ready to settle down. Keep I fucking am. with bullshit niggas. <laughs> Don't you ever get no serious nigga. No. You gonna get shot. <laughs> boys said, once you get you one of these niggas that, that if you get you a nigga that believe what you say and trust in what you say, keep him. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm hey, really Darlene, like a, I'm tell really, her what she gonna be in twenty years, Darlene. I'm really uh, like a <laughs> <laughs> I'm really like a, a female <laughs> like I do right by people. Corey, don't let Corey just 
<laughs> you'll be you'll, 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 you'll be in control is what you'll be. Okay. You'll have people like this trying oh, to get man. with you and you never want it and that's why they bitter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what you'll be in 20 years. That's what you'll be in 20 years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's why you, you bitter. Bad. Yeah. Let me tell all you motherfuckers out there something. <laughs> Women love the fool because they think they smarter than the fool. But the same way it end with the fool and with the serious guy, it's like, well, fuck you, bitch, go right on there. <laughs> That's how I go. I'm telling you, man. You can, the only women out there who are actually being taken seriously are women who do things like that you have to respect. Oh, this is hard. Like what? The oh. women who say things hoping for respect. They still out there fucking going through the same yeah, shit. But there are some girls who do things like what, where after yeah. a while you be like, yeah. okay. Like what, Corey? Okay. No. Do things like and what? And he keeps saying girls, girls, do girls. Things no, like he keeps what? messing with girls, not oh, women. I'm going to give you an example. Because I'm confused. Yeah. Self-respect. Okay. Mm. Self-respect. Do okay. you know how difficult that is for the average girl that grew up in the ghetto? Yeah. Okay, I get that part. I'm saying like the average girl who grew up in the hood... Mm. If I gave her $20,000, she is going to get her body changed. Um, now, do you think that's wrong? If I'm saying the average it. bitch, if I gave her $20,000 at one time, she's going to get her titties and ass done. If she's selling pussy Well, if she right, already got titties and ass. That increases yeah. the value. And she just go buy like There's a girls a who kilo. already got titties and ass, and just, but girls don't like when they titties. Well, she just want to sell cocaine. When they titties are pointing <laughs> at their pockets. They don't like that. <laughs> 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 Bitches nowadays want their titties to what? sit up like this with that new nipple they got made at the doctor office. Oh, prosthetic nipple. They right, that spray painted nipple. So getting your body done. The doctor be like, I'm almost through. Hold on. <laughs> but getting your body done is not self respect. Getting your body done. Wait, no, What's I'm saying like if you though? get your body done as a priority. It shows that Versus you are what? not to Buying be taken stock. with priority. You should have to mm. go through the same strenuous psychological background testing as somebody, about self -respect. Some, somebody ah, getting yeah. a pistol or a gun. You should have to do that same background when you get a body because that's weaponizing a bitch whose mind ain't ready for that weapon. Mm, okay. It make the game goofy that you got these bitches with all this ass and titty and they minds ain't on ain't that level. That's that. for all them niggas yeah. who will have a bitch who body been changed and never remind her her body been changed. Mm. You can't be my bitch with a changed body and act like all of a sudden you about something. I'm like, who you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> bitch, if you don't get your... Silicone chest having ass out of here, bitch. But we're talking about self-respect, not getting your body. Your skeleton is not going to be consistent. Right. That's what I did. A woman can't have self-respect unless she could be as part of something bigger than herself, and that applies to a man, too. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it always starts with, you know, either, you know, either submitting or understanding that it's bigger than just the individual and what they want and what they need. Well, let's talk about this. Like, take Just Niche, for example. I think people will take you seriously, Just Niche, because I'm being honest. This ain't no fake shit. I think you cute. I think you cute and you got hella personality. Mm -hmm. So a nigga can actually be like, I want this to be my woman. Yeah. But see, his bitches out here ain't got no personality. And they actually want you to answer questions like, where you been? <laughs> bitch, I've been with the bitch with personality. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, really the fuck? But but he's still messing with those types of other women too. So what does that say about him? It's so crazy. It's like come I'm on, just make saying. Up, it's make like, up your mind. There's some women out here who get respect. <laughs> there are some women out here that niggas move in with them. It's women out here who get that real opportunity to be up under them like that. But it's because they've earned it. All the women in the world who never get niggas to take them seriously need to start taking themselves seriously. Okay. Really? That makes sense. Yeah. Both ways. Mm -hmm. you, you exactly. Mean, right? That made me go. But that, I and if you want that, because some people just It don't ain't both want ways. It. If you got money, you ain't got to take yourself seriously. No, All you got to do is say, bitch, come want, here. Some people don't even want a relationship <laughs> like that. They but women, women got money these days. Court. Court. Women huh? have their you know own money. So it's just, it's a different ball. It's not the 70s. Even if you marry her. Money play out. Who marry bitches? Huh? What well, if she got her own money? Who Corey? marry bitches? Corey. I'm telling you something. If your wife Corey is somebody who ain't got your back, 
Cause motherfuckers don't know my situation. I get it. They 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 think they know my situation, but but for a married if, nigga to say who married bitches, that's an oxymoron. Right. I don't, <laughs> you, my fucker, you married bitches. If, if if you think if you think them people bitches, I'll be around them, be down. But them people around me up close for a reason. If somebody is around me up close, it's because they about something. I'm not finna hide no bust down bitch up under me, and you ain't got to tell me if you a bust down bitch or not. I'm gonna know. I'm watching you. Definitely. I'm watching you. If you a bitch up under me, I'm watching every move. My comic, <laughs> brother, the late Tyler Craig. One day we was out, and I was laughing so hard. <laughs> One day we was on the road, and Tyler had some bitch with him. That bitch said something to the comic on stage. He said, bitch, your road privileges are gone. <laughs> <laughs> you damn right. Who are you talking to, bitch? You ain't got to be talking to nobody and you with me. You shut the fuck up and wait till we get the room to the room before you express yourself. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Bitch, your road privileges are gone. He, that's what he said. Tyler said, your road privileges are gone. <laughs> the shit was fucking hilarious. <laughs> There's comedy in some of this shit I say, but it's true for some of the shit I say. He said that's his wife. I don't know who that girl was with him. <laughs> but if you look, I'm look, my brother Tyler Craig has passed. And you know what I'm saying? I think the comedy game took a big loss with Tyler Craig passing for everybody who know him. Um, but uh, they was telling me all the chaos that was happening at Tyler Craig funeral. The bitches. The bitches kicked up dust at Tyler Craig funeral. The average bitches that he had around him. Bitches who don't know how to act. His, 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 the girl he with and his daughter got into it at the funeral. And on top of that, the bitch he was with didn't have Tyler Craig on the program. She had a picture of her and him on the program. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm lying, I'm done. Oh no, that's If scary. I'm lying, I'm done. You can't be with you can't take no average bitch seriously. Your job is to fuck an average bitch, drop her off, and pet her on the back because she realized it ain't going nowhere. But let's get some. Yeah, can we get some real it's okay. It's okay. It's no, I'm saying my yeah. brother Tyler Craig. That may have been a mistake he made. Sure. I'm just saying this because I use my brother Tyler Craig's situation to show the next motherfucker. You cannot have, you cannot afford an average bitch in charge of what happened to you with nothing in this world. <laughs> That's terrible. God. Average bitches That's are terrible. gonna do average shit that help them out. <laughs> if that's your bitch that you take seriously, we got to work on you. Mm. I'm just saying, but average bitches get mad as fuck at everything. Do you know how many hate mails I'm gonna get about that uh, video at the beginning of the show? The oh, big yeah. bitch video? Oh, yeah. Obese oh. single moms make it where niggas can move anywhere in the world and have a place to stay. <laughs> God put fat bitches here as a shelter <laughs> for niggas who chasing their dreams. <laughs> The fuck is you talking about? <laughs> My nigga Stevie J over there laughing because he know I ain't lying. <laughs> he gonna be on the show next week, but anyway, nigga, what the fuck, nigga? I am not finna disrespect no respectable woman, but how many women out there are gonna say they're not respectable? How many women are gonna say they're not respectable? You could be fucking a bitch, Willie D, as a married man, and the bitch will get mad if you bring up your wife. <laughs> yeah. I have lived through this. I know a bitch who ain't shit when I'm around her. Shit. How the fuck you mad at a nigga because he brought up his wife? Bitches be like, don't be saying stuff like that. Yeah, bitch, what are you talking about? I'm still married, bitch. <laughs> Let me run this, bitch. Just do what I say. You want an outfit, don't you? Well, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll get to carrying on. I don't mean no harm. All you girls out there, I want y'all to find a way to get up out of the jam you've been in. I want every, every woman out there to look at your mama and realize that is not what you want to be. I'm not saying don't love your mama. Just look at her. That's what happens when you do what you want to do. Get a real nigga and get behind him, bitch. Of course you're not going to like it. Yes, he going to fuck other bitches. But what you got to do? <laughs> Ain't nothing else going for you. You'd rather be chose by a real nigga 
then cuffed up by a sucker ass nigga that make you think that you somebody you're not. Telling your girl the truth is the hardest thing in the world to do. Talking honestly to your woman will make her leave you in most situations. But guess what? She was supposed to get the fuck away from you because you ain't did nothing but told her the truth. Bitch, I fucked you the day I met you, didn't I? Now shut the fuck up. <laughs> you ain't make me wait and earn the pussy, bitch. I bought you an outfit and got the pussy. What? <laughs> so what's the reason for my time to wait? Huh? What's a reasonable amount of time to wait? He said, what's a reasonable amount of time to wait? His country came out. His markets came out right there. A reasonable time of wait is not set with any person. It varies with different people. There's some girls I feel very disrespected if I done seen them twice and ain't got the pussy. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Look at you, bitch. How the fuck I ain't fucked you yet? I'm just saying, but there are some girls that you be patient and you wait on, and even though they may be lost, they have potential. That's why you fuck with them. Potential. Potential. Uh. <laughs> potential. Right now, but they got potential. Right. Just, yeah. just niche. Right now, as a as a partner in a relationship, it is my opinion she doesn't have potential. That doesn't mean she ain't a good person. She is a good person. But if you think this your woman, nigga, use the doof ass nigga. I don't got potential. I don't got potential. potential. You got potential, but right now you're trying to make it and that pussy belongs to the game. It's okay. It's okay. God damn it, if motherfucking LeBron came in here and he was trying to get that pussy, he's gonna fuck you, god damn it. Guarantee. I think every dude needs to look at that girl. It's LeBron James. Yeah, LeBron. They said you got whole tension. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I could joke with niece like this because niece got confidence. Oh, yeah, yeah. Niece ain't tripping off this shit I'm talking about, but some people <laughs> that you I joke am. with them like that, they <laughs> think you are literally talking about their life, even though you literally talk about their life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad I made my nigga Willie D laugh, cause Willie D, <laughs> Willie I done watched Willie D's show. Willie D is serious, Willie he ain't D playing a, with you. Willie D be like, let me tell you about you, Donald okay. Trump. Are you there? Are you there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get Willie D. Nisha, you make me cry. Okay. How long you in town, Nisha? Well, depending on where Willie D leave, cause I'm just oh. going to stay home. ain't bullshitting. All you LA niggas meet her at the Magic Johnson Fridays. <laughs> Magic don't own that no more. He don't own that no more. Nah, oh my bad. So Dale Three bought that motherfucker. Dale Three, you stupid nigga. Chris, stupid. Niggas don't know who the Dale Three is. You gotta be a real hooper to know who that is. A long haired nigga who used to be good. All right, so we finna wrap this pussy ass shit up. I, once again, man. Uh, Willie D, man, whenever you in town, man, it ain't, it ain't, you know yeah. what it is. Just stop in on me, man. I fuck with you, man. Absolutely. I appreciate, I appreciate everything I learned from you too. Willie me, D helped me. Me too, me too yeah. Willie D. No, he helped me get through some shit. I'm fucking with him on the show, but Willie D, you know, nigga be talking crazy to me, and I'm like, nigga, fuck that shit. And Willie D be like, nigga, you can't hit no nigga, he Corey, because. Like mentor you. Yeah, well, he has mentored me. You ain't changing, though. But what he has. Yeah, what, Willie D has what said things was, to me that I take that advice in fully, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to getting mad at certain people who talk crazy to me. Because sometimes you get mad when it be a little <coughs> punk motherfucker talking crazy to you. A motherfucker that you know, you be like, man, I'll beat that motherfucker ass. They talk crazy to you. He's like he has sponsor. given me the game that I know he was right, mm -hmm. and I appreciate it. You and help all, me. And you help me because it's uh, hard to, 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 to handle when certain motherfuckers be talking crazy to you. But I realize you have to let motherfuckers that you don't know talk crazy to you. What else you going to do? You're going to have a court docket with your name on it and them. And that ain't what you want. He taught me that. And I listened yeah. to you when you said yeah. that, brother. I don't want and it. Can we also say uh, prayers to your hometown in Texas? Absolutely. Thank you for saying that, darling. Yeah, absolutely, man. We out there suffering big time, man. Well, I ain't, but, you know. <laughs> Wait, you saying your house didn't get flooded or, or, or whatever? I mean, your house didn't get, house didn't get iced out? Man, I was, I was out. I was out of, uh, I was out of water for like 
like two days and then no uh the lights you know they were they were doing i think what they call it robo right ro robo or something they get some people lights at one time then yeah. they take that away and give it to the other people which is yeah. fucked up and so it's like uh lights oh, might be rolling. on yeah. mm -hmm. rolling rolling power out. rolling yeah. rolling blocks or something like that so some sucker like, shit so five so for like five hours it's on then it's off and God. and then you know it might be gone for the whole day so I, after like Two days of that shit, three days, I was like, man, get the fuck out of here. So I fled like Ted, goddamn yeah, right. Really? I was like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. You did like the governor did, right? No, what? That, well, was, that, was, that was our senator. senator. Oh, senator. your senator. But you know, the thing is, is that, you know, you know, he, he, he swore to protect the people. I ain't swear to protect the people. I just protect the people, yep, you know, you know when, when, I, when I can. You know what I'm saying? Right. But first, you know, it's like when you're in a, dealing with a natural disaster, you gotta save yourself first. And that was really the first time that I was in a position where we had a natural disaster where I was not in a position to actually help people. Because typically, like, when something going down, flooding and all that kind of stuff, I'm out there in the streets, you know, like, I'm, I got my truck out there, you know, I got my crew out there, and we out there working. But, man, when they turn that power, ain't, wow. ain't nothing you can do. Mm -mm. Yeah. They turn that power off, the water gone, it's pitch black. Wow. You can't even move around. You can't get gas. You know, That's you great. can't get food, nothing. Only thing you could do that motherfucking is help with that ice is piss outside. Yeah. Like if everybody was pissing outside, it could be little holes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's some different things well, that I'm going to do next time yeah. around. Like, so when that come around next time. You got time, a generator, don't you? Yeah, well, well no, they, they got this thing called a, a generator something. It's not a generator. It's, called, it's, it's similar to a generator, but uh, it, it can keep your house... Uh, it kicks, it kicks right in automatically when, when the lights go off. Wow. Kind of like a lot of hotels use it. Mm -hmm. You know what so, they call it? What's it called? It's a generator. Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's, it's some, no, they, 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 no, it's another word for it, trust mm -hmm. me. It's another word for it. And it keeps, it, keeps the, uh, it keeps the power on and stuff, everything running for like an entire week. So, it's a generator. So when I, so <laughs> that's what I'm, that's what I'm going to get, <laughs> you know, <laughs> when I get back. <laughs> I'm glad everything you're all right. Just knees. You know I love you, girl. We go. We getting down this week. You know I meant that shit. You don't know what the fuck you doing out here. But I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying. Just knees. I'm proud when I work with Just knees because Just knees is a female that's funny. And to me, it's not a whole bunch of funny female comics. That's just my opinion. But Just knees funny than a motherfucker. So Des Moines, Iowa. Y'all know what's up. Get yeah. your tickets, motherfucker. Yeah. Even though Saturday already sold out. Oh, good for you guys. Oh, good, yeah. good, good. And we do okay. Hey, so, 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 why, why, so, Jesse, why do you think, it, in your opinion, why why Jesse is so so yes, well, difficult? Yes, talk to, to me. Talk 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 to me. Well, I think it's really a numbers game because a lot of these nigga comics ain't funny either. It's just way more of them than us. So when you see somebody and they're not funny, uh, and it's usually a female, like it's just really numbers because a lot of these guys okay. ain't funny either. Right. But no, it's just way more male dominated, and so okay. you see a lot of more more you see a lot more men than women. And so when women are bombing, they fucking bombing. Mm -hmm. As do y'all, fellas. And you just see a lot more men, period. So. Mm. But, can't, yeah. but, can't, but, but don't, you, don't you think that men can get away with things, certain things that women, female comics can't get away with? For instance, uh, no, but if, if, but, 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 if, 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 but if a man, is, a if a man is talking like really, like say, say like really sexually explicit or something like mm. that, it's just one of those things that you know people just accept easily, but. If a woman say certain things, they start looking at that woman a certain no, way. No, I can pretty much say whatever. You want to see that? I, I, I people so. receive it well if I say it. I, don't I know think people expect her to well, say I sexually know. explicit shit when they see her. Well, I know how people... <laughs> I know what you do works. But you know yeah, what, what I, I, do I know how you do me, your thing yeah. works. But I have seen, you know, I'm, I'm, I consider myself a comedy kind of sewer. I know. I, you know uh, uh, yeah, no. I've seen this. Oh. If you see yeah. Just Nisha, really she'd be like, yeah. Men ain't shit. You I like, well, don't have those jokes. <laughs> I ain't do those jokes. No, I, I, I know. That's that, why I'm fucking. That's ain't shit. But I ain't never <laughs> bashed no nigga. No, I, 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 seen, I seen you working. And, and, um, you it's know, just it's, all in the delivery. You can say whatever yeah. you want to say. You just have to be mean what you say, say what you mean, and not worry about what somebody going to think. Yeah. And once you do that, it's like, hey, I'm either riding with this bitch or I'm not. So you're either going to love it or hate it, but just be yourself and be yeah. honest. And don't be a lot of guys crazy. like you in the crowd too because they really think they're gonna get that pussy after the show. <laughs> they could be like, get her. 
I see it in their eyes. Did you say you got a crease in your shirt? Even though, look, this the crease. I seen the crease since '98. Janice likes to party. She likes to go out and do things. Like she don't just like to perform and just go to the room like my boring ass do. So I was laughing so hard one one time when we was in Mississippi. Oh my god! And at 5150, nigga, it was some little workout, nigga. Anyway. He was talking about these parties or whatever, whatever. And just he was like, "Come on, let's go to the party." And what that nigga say? He said, "I don't know y'all. Y'all don't know me like that. Be out here with me like that." God damn it, that he was like, "I don't know y'all. I ain't fucking with y'all." Jelly. And he took his slow ass. So and a girl got her car got jacked that night. Ooh. Yeah, the weird so, yeah. bitch. What was she? He, he probably thought we was jacked. Right? I ain't called it a weird. She sell uh, bracelets. She sell sure. bracelets. She was in the audience. She was like, "I have bracelets." And and they cute. I bought some. And. Oh. She got carjacked that night. Yeah, that's yeah, fucked that's up. That's Give me your car bracelet, That's bitch. why the nigga ain't want to hang out with us. He was like, boy, I don't know y'all, nigga. You from Chicago? Well, that's <laughs> fucked up. I'm like, yeah, hang out. He like, oh fuck God, you. That man. happened in Chicago? No, it happened in it's Mississippi. Mississippi, but yeah. Jackson, Jackson, Mississippi. But these two are from, right? Chicago, right? Yeah, they carjacked Jackson, like Jackson Mississippi hood is fuck. Hmm. Oh yeah, I got I got I got some legendary stories about Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Them country niggas be with the shits. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we got to wrap the show up. We're I want to tell, seven. I want to tell everybody who stuck, who hung in there with us. I know we ran long tonight, but look here, this is the 5150 show. We love you, motherfuckers. All you haters can eat a dick. Oh. Next week, goddamn it, 5150. We in this bitch. Hold on. Oh shit, hold we on. Got Nah, no, we still on? Okay, I saw a comment. Uh, uh -oh. Dr. Simple something called me a simp. Uh, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out, sucker. Oh, hello. That's yeah. right, bitch ass niggas. Yeah. Mm, mm, no, them, mm, niggas, mm. them niggas, dog, them niggas be in wheelchairs. Mm. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> when you see these niggas, you, that was you? You <laughs> weird old little motherfucker, nigga. These niggas. <laughs> Handicapped niggas. They, oh they was getting them checks before COVID. They was getting them oh checks before COVID. Oh <laughs> <my God. laughs> oh <my God. laughs> them motherfuckers got a little machine on their neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Jesus. Oh my God. We up, niggas. 5150. We up out this bitch. Hey, listen, for everybody who's still out there, listen to this shit. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck we let this by. It is on Friday, mm. Darlene Woo! Ortiz's birthday, goddammit. <laughs> Darlene. She said D Ray birthday is the it's same the day. Same day. Oh, Ray. Yeah. yeah. Don't Darlene look good for 60? Very oh, yeah. funny. Not yet. 54. 54. Darlene, Darlene ain't, Darlene, we look, next week, Pisces, we next week, Darlene? I know, I know, we should, he's trying to get with some you. pussy, look here, with you, I will. <laughs> what we gonna do, next week, next week, we didn't do it this week, because I ain't gonna lie, see, I ain't one of them motherfuckers who lie, I let it get by me, but Darlene is a beloved member of the 5150 show, we gonna bring a cake next week, and all that sucker ass shit. Yeah. To, to give Darlene Thank her proper. You. Darlene OGOG. Happy birthday. But if you're not busy this weekend, come by the restaurant. So delicious. Come by the restaurant. All the haters in the chat room, your dad ate your mama pussy while she was on the yeast. Oh, we about this bitch. Right. Peace. You,
Corey can't even freestyle in these shoes. Ooh. And I got the light. Let me turn right here. Nigga, <laughs> you got keys on. Shut up. Damn, I'm thick. What's up, Key? Uh, okay. We ready? Yo. Yo, yo. Yo, turn my shit up. Okay. Beat up. So, Willie did get eight up too. Oh, that's me? Oh, 5150. I look a fool. This how I was looking all day. <laughs> you really be thinking you look cute. See, the camera come on right there. This is me. I look like I went to the thrift store. Hey. You, you get eight up too. Anybody can get it. Especially you. And I'm back on. Oh, yo, yo, yo. 5150. Turn my mic up. I'm finna go. I had to make sure we was on camera. Cut the beat up. Cut me down. Cut me down. Cut the beat up. Yo. Hey, hey. We finna go. Catch the beat, Bob. Oh. Pull up at the studio. 5150 show. Corporate got the best home. Oh, no. We don't do that no more. Backtrack. TBT in the 90s. He got the sweater. Oh, I'm like Nike. Get your ass out of here. Can we cut this beef reverb? Because I got to get Craig, too. I don't like this echo. Oh, this is... <laughs> Yes, with the purple jeans. It's like purple rain. He like purple things. Fuck Prince. Raspberry Beret. It's my nigga Corey. You heard what I say? Are you ready? Okay. Okay, you go. Give me the mic, it's my turn. Watch how a real nigga burn this shit down on the signified tip. About to talk that shit, just niche. She short as hell. Ugh boots, you know her feet smell. Marcus on the side with the little ass shirt. Big ass feet. We know you can't flirt once you take your hat off. Your shit gone. Bitches ain't gonna get you on bone, cause they don't like you for real. Here's the motherfucking deal. Craig Fax with some tight ass sweats. We gon' get raped on Santa Monica, I bet. Talking that shit, Corey Holcomb and this motherfucking bitch. Nail over there on the side. That's my homie, he ride. He teaching me how to play the guitar. So I can fuck them bitches in a bar. Everybody know this the Hope flow. Look at Craig Facts. That shit ain't fresh, bro. What's up? Who else got freestyle in this bitch? Straight off the dome. You did? Come on with it. What you want, Marcus? You got something to say? That puss ass Marshall's outfit. Marshall's outfit. Marshall's outfit. You ain't spin holly shit. Fuck well, Corey, you ugly ass fella. All that purple looking like Donatella. Uh, fuck it, Nutella. Uh, bitch, color purple ass suit. Look like Step Brothers too. Now what you won't do? Your hair look terrible too. And you got a bat too. I see it in the back. Hey, did you get smacked by a bitch? <laughs> With the fake ass. The worst rapper on the show. The worst rapper on the show. Craig Fax on the stage. He ain't in range. If you see them pants, you know he paid a dollar ninety-nine at the thrift store. I bought them. No, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. To the beat. 
When I leave here, I'ma go fuck just niece. Called me and said she would give me a piece. And I was like, compete. Cause I like to get my black ass between the sheets. Yeah, and be into the dog mist. Yeah, and share the bitch with Marcus. Yeah, and then Corey come right behind. Yeah, and when I leave, I smack her behind. Yeah, now I'ma pass the motherfucking mic. Corey Holcomb. Just niche, about to get ran on a train by me and Craig Fax and Marcus and Phil in fact. He just trying to keep it low, but we know Phil gonna fuck through this hole, cause that's the way the shit go. I wanna ski on the hotel floor. Starting it back over. What's up, niece? Hey, Corey, do taxes. Pull up, <laughs> like nigga do it. <laughs> okay, trying to be the. Oh, these niggas is real niggery. Pull up on Chris Shaw, no chivalry, and pull out to see where's Willie D, cause that's the nigga who really finna me. Oh, we in the motherfucking studio. 5150, you know how we go. Corey Jeans from JW, two for 40. Everybody got their daddy, every shorty. Jeans West, Corey kept it. TBT, he gon' rap it. Fubu, Carl Kanai, that's what he do. Stuck in the 92. I think my mic's low. <laughs> Nigga, of course, salty like some calendars. Where you going with all that lavender? Uh, your bitch, yeah, I'm having her. Uh, in the back seat, I'm grabbing her. Slapping her. Yeah, I'm macking her. Hey, that's all I got left. It's the marks hit the damn two step, two line. Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, who fast? I'm alive. Hey, bitch. Stop crying, hey, hey, it's my time, let me shine, hey, Craig, you got it, going out, fuck it, I'm tripping, go tell my dame, beating up any nigga that yell my name, go tell my game, you snitch motherfuckers gonna get separated from your brain, and that's the way it is. I've been a motherfucking savage since I was a kid. Echo, let go. My rhyme style is retro, yeah. Rapper to the pest mode, sample. Nigga, for example, yeah. You sweet niggas more sample. Say who the boy with the wave. My shit's not right today. <laughs> 